What's going on, everybody? I believe I'm live. It's been a little while since I've actually been streaming. What's going on, guys? A couple people in the chat already. Nice to see. It has been forever since I've streamed, so I'm just trying to make sure I've actually got everything set up correctly. But if there's any problem with the audio or anything, let me know. What's going on? Uh, Cubass face reveal? No, so this is, a, this is not a face reveal. I get that question all the time. Okay, people are saying the audio is good, so we're going to go ahead and get started. But as I've mentioned and people are asking, uh, not a face reveal. Um, I've, I've been in plenty of streams before. You can even find some videos with my face in them from like years and years ago. So it's, it's not new. It's just it's much faster to edit things if I do it uh, without putting my face in them. Ledwick donated five euros and said, oh, it's going to be good. I hope so. We'll see. Might be a mess. Oh, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> all right, not going to reset the tutorials. So we're doing the jack of all trades achievement, which is to say one level in every class, which is probably going to be a mess. But I've got a decent idea for how I would like to approach it. Uh, the video should be available after the stream. Um, it should just become a video on demand automatically or you know, basically just a video. But we shall see and make sure it actually works, but it should just immediately become one. So we're going to start as a human fighter, mostly to get all the proficiencies and the extra skill. But the class in general is just going to be a mess. Okay, so. Uh, Already made sure to turn streamer mode on, basically, so we don't have any uh, mishaps, let's say. But honestly, we're probably going to be skipping through a lot of the story stuff. Just because we're after really that one achievement. Uh, no mercy ass, hold our, how old are you? I am 30. Oh, you guys can't hear the game audio, I hear somebody say. Hmm, all right, give me just a second on the. Is it just real quiet? Can you hear it now? Or is it actually just off? Gotcha. Hold on. Give me just a second. that fix it? Can we hear everything now? Or is it still nothing? Everybody saying hi. Hello, everybody. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, I just had the wrong speaker thing set up is what the problem was. Let me know if the uh, needs adjusted at all in terms of its... Um, what's the word? Sound. <laughs> Sorry. One of the reasons I don't stream is I get like hyper focused on what I'm doing, so it, it can be like hard to pay attention to chat and do this at the same time. They added a bunch of really cool face tattoos, but just kind of make a general character and then get going. Uh, everybody says the game is a bit loud. Sure, sure. Gotcha, there we go. Hope that's a little better. Let me know if it needs to come down anymore, but 
other than that. Uh, okay, so. Facial hair, we have to have an amazing beard. That's important. Good enough. All right, that's probably about as good as I'm gonna get looks-wise, not super pushed into it. Daniel says, damn, you look like a wizard. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. Oh, wow, Callie's Rabbit just donated $100. Holy geez, that's a lot, thank you. That's incredibly generous. Okay, so fighter and we're gonna go with archery for our fighting style. And then for our background, we're gonna go criminal abilities. We are going to pump up dexterity because this class is going to be basically useless because we have one level in everything. But if I put uh, everything in dexterity, my hope is that I can use the bow skills to uh, kind of offset that a little bit because uh, bows get a bunch of different arrow types that will still have like useful effects that I'm hoping are going to work out. Um, Somebody asked if this is a tactician run. It is going to be explorer mode because we're doing jack of all trades. So I think any attempt at uh, tactician would probably be a nightmare. I mean, it'd probably be funny to watch, granted, but it would probably be terrible otherwise. So we're going for dexterity and charisma to try to talk our way out of everything. Oh... <laughs> the Fat Skater donated two Canadian dollars. Thank you so much. Kiaza donated ten dollars. Thank you. Very kind of you guys. Oh, all right. So, what was I doing? Proficiencies. Right. So, I want persuasion. We're gonna get deception and stealth proficiencies from our background, which is gonna help us out. We've got intimidation. So that actually looks about like what I wanted. The only thing I want to change is we're gonna move athletics down to perception but perception's a wisdom skill so we might want to go with something else um now we'll do we'll do intimidation that way it's there and then we're gonna pick up rogue next level which will give us some more oh people asking what difficulty it is it is uh on balance so you have to do Multi-classic, which is turned off on Explorer, and then Tactician would probably be, honestly, just too hard with a run like this where you're trying to do all of the classes. But that should pretty much do it for our starting class, and then we will get going. Gonna skip through a lot of the story stuff. Naturally, the character's name is going to be absurd. Zachariah donated five bucks, said, Hey man, so much love to you and yours. Can't wait to be able to watch this VOD in my spare time. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it when you see it. Uh, okay, so we've got our character, and now we are moving. We'll just take the default guardian, not that concerned about it. Like I said, we're going to be skipping through a lot of the story stuff. Really, the only point here is trying to get the achievement as much as that winds up taking, so... Basically, just going to run through it and try to do our best. Though, realistically, I don't know how this is going to go because the only thing I've got in terms of ideas for this is just that, ideas. I haven't actually put in a ton of testing to see how it pans out just yet. Uh, does the Guardian play a big role in the game? Yes, but I can't really say any more with that than without just like flat out spoiling it, which would seem odd in the context. Uh, solar run or companions. We'll be using companions because we are using the jack of all trades uh, approach here. We're going to be relying on companions pretty heavily. Our main character is not going to be super useless. Uh, super useful, rather. Uh, can I turn DVR on for the stream so we can rewind? Um, it should be on by default, but if it isn't, I can take a look at it real quick. All right, off we go. Got the important stuff there. Um, we'll have to... We'll probably steal Lazel's bow, like, immediately. Then that way we can make use of our archery, which we're going to have a bigger proficiency bonus to. The first couple levels I don't think will be bad, just because 
like, you know, it's, it's low level D&D and even all the classes will still have something useful. But I think around Act 2 it's going to get to be very much so a pain. Uh, what are my PC specs? Um, high end. They're on the channel's about page if you want to go look at them real quick. I don't have anything to like pull them up with immediately. Arkling said stumbled on. Great to see you live. It really is. I do not stream very often. Yeah. Why is the UI so small? Uh, I actually don't know if you can adjust that on. I mean, it probably has some sort of scale option, but generally I like to keep that stuff to a minimum. My tactical standard. We're going standard for the achievement. I don't. Uh, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's not impossible to do uh, jack of all trades on tactician, but it would be much, much more difficult. Jack of all trades is one level in every class, without respecking into it. Am I going to use the tadpoles? Almost the certainly. From the, um, the class is going Achieve to be it. very weak, so we are going to use the tadpoles to make up for that. <laughs> All right, we're going to take our brain pet along. We are going to the helm. People saying glad to catch you streaming. Uh, glad to hear it. I know, like, so I, streaming is, like, it's fun, but it's a lot of time investment. And, like, realistically, this will probably be, like, four or five hours, maybe, if something doesn't surprise me or something. But that's uh that's time that i take to edit every day and when you're reviewing games after 100 percent that goes a long way tony says great to put a face to the voice glad to help people out in that regard not a face reveal though to be clear my face is in plenty of videos i just don't make a habit of it Vlacketh blesses me this day all right Together, so we might survive Blazel's gonna pull us right directly into combat. That's probably the only thing I don't like about this tutorial change is that for the most part, the smoother tutorial from early access is nice, but when you talk to Lazel now, the second the conversation ends, she immediately puts you in combat here. There we go again. Which is a problem in this instance because I wanted to steal her sword. Or her um, bow. I'm fury. I am fury. I am death. Joe says outstanding content. Oh, thank you. I'm just glad people enjoy it. <laughs> Ricky says it's a really good AI uh, face over. I mean, sure, I guess if people want to think that. I see the comments every once in a while when people mention that I'm probably an AI. Uh, Erfar says why high dex when access to heavy armor? So we're using dexterity because that's going to give us access to bows. And we are going to use bows because with 12, like with one level in each class, uh, we're going to be useless with a lot of our abilities. So if I use dexterity, I can use bows and all of the arrow types to still kind of contribute something is my general uh, working idea for this. And we'll see if that actually pans out or if this completely fails. Um, what is my expected class build path? Uh, we're probably going to start with um, Fighter and Rogue as level 2. And then from there, it'll probably just be more playing it by ear. You proved surprisingly adequate in that. Now, to the helm. What's inside? Yeah, so I like to loot the Mind Flayers because sometimes they have those potions of speed on them. Not always. But sometimes they do. Healing potion off of that guy, and then one of these guys has armor in here. Or, uh, cloth, I should say, and then, like, a morning star or something. Oh, Grimshock donated $5. Thank you so much. I think that's Australian, but I'm not sure. Terrible with currencies. Should we be able to take another dragon attack? Rogue and Bard have skill bonuses from skill late. checks at least. Yeah, so that's why Rogue is going to be level 2, so we can pick up the expertise at level 1, make ourselves a little better at a few things. Thanks, as you do a great job editing your own videos. Uh, I mean, I, I do a passable job. Like, if you look at my videos, they all use essentially the same edits, so... Like, I'm not doing anything fancy at all there. It's just, like, the, the quickest way possible. Uh, will I be doing side quests for the main storyline? I'm going to be doing as much it's as possible so we get to level 12 as quickly as we can. Um, I think it's the right button that just kills these guys. Move. Yeah. That way we can loot them. Do 
Do you think the one level on every class will really be useless? Um, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say it will like literally be useless, but it won't be good. Like a lot of the stuff you could set up just isn't gonna work, because so much of that stuff comes into play at like level two or three, and some of the classes that get their subclass like immediately will probably be pretty useful, but beyond that, not so much. Okay. Script. So we'll come in here, grab the key in the rune to free Shadowheart. Alex says, have a good stream. Your videos are top notch. Thank you. I appreciate it. Night Tilt says, How thanks for the content. Thank you as well. Infected. For watching and enjoying it, honestly. Uh, do I get a fighting style at fighter level one? Yeah, we picked up archery. We're going to be using bows as much as we can. All right, now we're gonna go free Shadow Heart and then get to the fun part. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Robert Coleman donated five bucks at face reveal hype. Uh, again, my face is in plenty of videos. It's not something that has ever been hidden from people. I just put it in videos so rarely yeah. that everyone thinks it is. Uh, am I planning to do any Starfield content? Yes. Um, I don't know if I'll get a review copy or anything like that, so we shall see what that's going to look like, but I will be doing something. Uh, Kiaza donated $10 with no message, but thank you. Very kind of people. FPS is a bit low. Uh, that might just be the stream itself. I'm not showing any dropped frames or anything, though, so it looks probably okay on my end. I do have it set to 30 FPS, so it'll be stable, so that might be what you're referring to. Okay, now we're going to free Shadowheart by turning on this console. console. Uh oh, Woder donated $5 to keep up the head. good work. Who are we going to roll with in your party? Uh, we're going to use Gale and, and probably Lazelle and Shadowheart, just because they're my favorites Connection. to keep around, and Authority. they're... Those three, like, their base classes make up a really solid party composition, so you don't really have to do anything special there. All right. <laughs> of course, I rolled a natural one on the easiest check. You what a great way to start. Mechanical... Hold on, maybe we can get... You feel... Lazel to do it. Sudden discomfort fades. And another sensation washes over you. Connection. Are you kidding me? Or thought you feel the biomechanical brain. Wow. Looking at it. Two not ones. Well, that means Shadowheart is stuck here because there's no other way to open that. And we'll roll with it because she'll still be available later, so whatever. But I can honestly say that's the first time I've ever had that happen back to back like that. So that's fun. I feel better. <laughs> Mr. Meddy said, uh, <laughs> "Reroll the campaign right now." Ah, we won't go that far. So the the only thing not getting Shadowheart right there is going to do is that um, doing this fight up here is basically going to be impossible now uh, to actually kill. Do it. Uh, the commander, which I was going to try to do, but without Shadowheart, I just don't see it happening because she can hit him with Guiding Bolt, and if you get lucky with those kits, it can be very effective. Okay, not off to a great start here, Jesus. Have to keep going. Ricky says Andy will affect her approval. That is true, yeah. Any advice to play a Sorkadin? Ah, there's so many ways you could roll a Sorkadin, it's really hard to say. Um, there's, like, there's a lot of ways to split that level-wise, and it kind of just depends on what you want to do. My path be true. Nothing will stand in my way. <laughs> Josh says I would have re-rolled. Um, that, the sword is good, but it's not that good. Like, you'll, like, by the end of Act 1, it, you'll probably have something else. Alright.
Without Shadow Heart, there's really just not a chance we're actually gonna kill him at all. Uh, do I like wild shape combat? Um, I like it for the most part. Um, it's a neat idea. Um, the build I'm doing, or like, well, the run I'm doing right now that isn't this is a druid, so we'll see how I'm, how much I wind up liking it overall. But from here. Time to press ahead. generally speaking, yes. I, two natural ones on that roll. Like, that is literally the first time I've ever not been able to get her out of that. It genuinely annoys me. And of course, it's when I'm streaming it. <laughs> because why wouldn't it be? Oh, okay. So, we're going to... No just avoid the commander. Without Shadow Heart, there just isn't really a chance there. So we're just going to go straight for the console. Uh, Mr. Jib says you can use the purple containers. Yes, yes. So for people who don't know, uh, these Nautiloid tanks, those are explosive. So you can, an another way to do it is to move them towards him and then uh, just blow them all up. Uh, it's an option. I don't care for it much because I usually take a bunch of collateral damage trying to do it. But yes, that is technically a thing you can do. Nicholas <laughs> says streamer curse is going strong. Yeah, apparently. A little rough way to start. By the way, jump is crazy strong because you can get so much extra distance by jumping instead of just using your movement speed. It's been in the game. It's like it's been like that since uh, early access, so I don't get the impression they're inclined to fix it, but. You'll cover so much more ground by just jumping, especially if you have a character that's high strength. But even with like basic strength, jump will give you a bunch of extra movement. How long was my first playthrough? It was 50 hours. Uh, do I think jump is too strong? Not really. Like it, it's it's stronger than it should be, but I don't think it's like overpowered or anything. Uh, is tactician difficulty like normal for veterans? Um, so, it, like, it really just depends. Uh, like, personally, I don't think 5th edition D&D is that hard, just period. Wake, so I think most people would be fine. Worm, other than the, but it'll all be the but it's one of those things where, like, if you're not familiar with this at all, it's probably going to be really hard for you, just because you don't know much about it. Which can be a bit of a separate problem. All right, so now we are off the ship. Loot everything on our way. Anything of use? There's a couple of good items on these people around here. You can't get this achievement with Mercs. No, you can't use Withers to get it. But I suggest Karmic Dice on or off. So I've played with it on, and I just I don't feel like it matters, to be honest. I think people are vastly out... I, just, I think people are exaggerating the significance of it. I could see why you wouldn't want to play with it on, because then, theoretically, it's possible to get, like, I don't know, like 20 natural ones in a roll if, like, if, you, if you don't have it on. But having a game that is factually fudging the numbers on stuff like that could also bother people so it's just kind of eh, either way what's the hardest achievement in my opinion um i mean probably this one to be honest we've only got like, three left wait suddenly and then i guess tactician would probably give people a run for their money if they're not familiar with things same thing in your head all right so let's get shadow heart recruited Hopefully, there's no more of these. Oh, but you're right. You can call me Shadowheart. Need the. All right. So the like the big downside, by the way, to not killing the commander, in my opinion, it's not the weapons. If I had killed the commander, I would already be level two. And it's not going to matter like late game because you know you've got so much experience that it won't matter. But killing him can give you a, a really good early boost to your general power. Because now we won't hit level 2 until we kill the Intellect Devourers up here. 
And then we won't hit level three until we're almost ready to leave the grove as opposed to when we're just about uh, arrived, essentially. Have I done a Dark Urge playthrough? Yeah, my first playthrough was. In fact, um, like just so there's video evidence, I guess. Uh, this is a monk I'm working on. That was for the uh, monk overview video that I made. This was my first playthrough. Um, this is some save some stuff. This right here is right before the last boss, this save. And while that says 43 hours, it's actually a little bit longer than that because there were some stuff that I like reloaded and played a little longer. But the total one for that is. And then this is my playthrough for the cleric build that went up today and same thing save right before the end of the game and that one was on tactician and only took about 40 because i already knew what i was doing all right back to what we were doing so before we start this fight we're gonna save because our luck has not been great and this could go either way More of those uh when did things. i start uh playing the game or streaming streaming i've only been live for a little while Okay, save. Oh, that's a lot of saves. Oh, yeah, like, so just those two playthroughs. I've already got a few hundred. It'll be thousands by the time I'm done. Justin says, hey, hey, how's it going? Uh, what do I need to accomplish to get this achievement? We have to have one level in every class. That is literally the first time I've ever gone first in this fight. That is a surprise. What are some of the biggest differences between this and Divinity Original Sin 2? Uh, like the biggest thing would probably be the elemental interactions, which just aren't as much of a thing here. Uh, Major says I'm 40 hours in, have only just started Act 2. Um, see, I, I don't... Like, I'm, I'm never one to like judge how anybody plays, but like for me, I'm the opposite into that. I don't see how you could spend that long in Act 1. But to each their own. <laughs> what difficulty? We are on balanced. Neverdale says, gotta go to sleep. Good luck. Have, have a nice sleep, I suppose. <laughs> All right, so. 90%. Back up a little bit. These intellect devourers deal a lot of damage if you get unlucky, which can be very. <laughs> Like if he attacked, okay. yeah, I was like, if he went, if he went after Shadowheart, that she could have went down right there. Well. Mark Lee or uh, Mac Lee rather so, uh, donated two euros. Said crossword. the governor, the mad lad, the PC top G. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, what game mode do I prefer, balanced or tactician? Um, so the main difference between normal and tactician is like the boss enemies. A lot of the normal enemies really aren't that much harder. All right, so we'll level her up. And we will grab a level in Paladin for her. She's gonna be uh, a bit of a multi-class thing. Did I find out who the Emperor is? Yes, I am aware of who the Emperor actually is which I'm not going to spoil for the sake of this live stream. <laughs> the game comes back up. PS donated $10, said best reviewer channel of the past few years. Keep trucking. Thank you. I appreciate it. Tactician mode was pretty straightforward if you know what you're doing. Like if, if you weren't familiar with D&D, uh, &D, I could see it being a hassle, but otherwise... Hold on, guys. Did the game just crash on me? Peter Sky donated five euros. Said, glad to see your face and thanks for all the work. I appreciate it. Glad to help people put a face to the name, I suppose. <laughs> all right, I think, yeah, the game just crashed. Wonderful. Hold on, guys, I gotta restart.
Oh, good grief. There we go. Josh said my game has crashed when trying to level up. Uh, sometimes it takes a really long time to load, but I think that's the first time it's ever just straight up crashed on me on a level up. William says you're going to save a lot. Yes, probably so. Here he says tactician's been a challenge. Had to redo several fights. Yeah, yeah. So, like, tactician is a good challenge, especially if you're not familiar with uh, just, like, D&D &D in general. Okay. Try that again. People asking how old I am. I am 30, guys. I was born in 93. Okay. Take two. Death won't take me yet. Better stay back. One strike, you'll be lethal. All right. So one nice thing about the rogue class is that you can start combat from out of combat, and then if you have assassin, you'll actually recoup your action and can take another one. Once we get this fight done, we can... <laughs> attempt to level up again, and then I'll sort out everybody's action bars. Uh, Daniel says getting to create BG3 content must be a dream. Yeah, it really is. It's, uh, I don't know, man. It's wild to have, like, covered CRPGs for so long and then get to do, like, this really massive one. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Okay. Blood. Just try to level up again, and hopefully it won't crash this time. All right, so we're going to multi-class, obviously, and then we are going to take a level in rogue first. Fight of hands pretty great, but what I want to take it in is... Persuasion and Deception. So, uh, a lot of people have asked about, like, uh, sleight of hand for, like, um, lockpicking and stuff. But, like, realistically, plus two from Dexterity and the Guidance cantrip will unlock most stuff for you. Ugh. People asking why is the max level 12? Because higher than that is hard to implement in a game. All right. What happens if you multi-class 12 classes? We get a, an achievement, which is the purpose of this playthrough. Wits and blades always shop. Isn't Elder's class spam the most optimal for a build like this? Um, so I think using the word optimal for a build like this is <laughs> a, a bit of a oxymoron, so to speak, because uh, nothing you do here is going to be optimal, but... You could try to use Eldritch Blast, sure. How do I finish the game so fast? Uh, I, so, I play these games for a living. I'm a lot more familiar with their rule sets than most people are. And I have basically all day, every day to do it, as opposed to people's limited time. So, there's a variety of factors that play into that. Okay. So, let's get our action bar sorted out real quick. At least a little bit, anyway. Move our sneak attack. Move that over here. So, I tried to get rid of the contextual stuff off of my bar, so I don't use a ton of it. So, like, when I'm throwing or grabbing an improvised weapon, I don't do that from the hot bar. I'm not really going to hide a bunch because there's a key to toggle that, so why would I use the hot bar? Helping is contextual. You don't ever need to actually click on that. Wonderful. 
All right. Now for Shadow Heart. Uh, Cooper Jackson donated ten dollars. Said thanks so much for all the content. Congrats on the channel success. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was very kind of you. All right. So. Shadow Heart's not going to be as crazy a build as ours, but she's going to use um, a little bit of Paladin to make her slightly more interesting. But in many ways, she'll still be a pretty basic character. Alright, off we go. Moving ahead. So first, we're going to loot everything, grab the other two characters we'll be using, and kill this Mind Flayer up here. Alright, so... Grab that stuff. The early part of the game has a lot of good stuff to loot if you look around, like health potions and things that are helpful. Potion. I, 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 it doesn't happen all the time, but so many of these mind flares in the early game drop potions of speed, and I know like there's some there's some amount of randomness to that because they are not on the same mind flares every playthrough. But that's why I'm always looking at them. Uh, Trisha says thanks for all the content. I'm enjoying your stuff for a while. Thank you as well. I appreciate it. Have I tried mods? So because I'm playing for a review, no, I have not tried any mods really. Um, I mean, I likely will eventually, but not for a while. How do you add uh, to wares without a right click? Um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a hotkey, but I don't actually add anything to wares. I sort it all manually because I am a weirdo, but that's me. Okay, so... Over here, we can get some nice loot if we make the, I think it's a nature check to look under this rock. Do you intentionally rush your run? Uh, no, no, not at all. This is really just how I play. Yes, the nature failed. We'll have to double back when we get Lazel and Gale to see if we can pass that because there's some good loot in there. How do I feel about Baldur's Gate 3 versus Wrath of the Righteous? Um, I mean, I, I might make a video talking about it at some point, but it's... It's a lot to just reply with here. I think one of the big things is that I still love Wrath of the Righteous, but like obviously the production values aren't nearly on the same level. Waterboard donated ten dollars, so thanks things. for all cool. the videos or ten euros rather. And then there, on the run up to release the grass, to BG three, they're great for helping you, people decide like what they wanted the to play at launch. Glad you got some use out of it. I was. All right, so. There's a Starian recruited. I wanted you. We're gonna send him and to those camp tentacles. though. What was that? And to think. My name's a so. Although. Uh, and Cause we're gonna pick up Gale and Lazel. Pounds, not euros. Ah, look, man, I'm terrible with currencies. It's not my strong suit. Uh, the Witcher 3 versus Baldur's Gate 3. Um, different genres, so not really comparable at all, in my opinion. All right, then we'll get this mind player sorted out. You can't. It will be. But then the feeling slip. The monster lies exult. If you try to pass some of the checks here, it's possible to fail them, and that mind player will kill you. Death is too good for it. Which is honestly pretty funny, but. It used to be a lot harder to pass that in early access, but like half, I don't, I don't remember the exact patch, there. but in early Just access, they changed slide, it maybe. to make it a bit easier. Supply pack, goblin bow. That goblin bow should be better than the one we've got. I don't know, it's the same. Maybe I'm thinking, might've been Lazelle. That goblin bow gives somebody more damage. 
going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. <laughs> Possibly fatal asks the Call of Duty Modern style. Warfare versus Baldur's Gate 3. Well, one's an FPS and Baldur's Gate 3 isn't. Is it malfunctioning? Alright, and here is a hand. Anyone? Gale. Who's gonna be our wizard? Say, but I never I can only assume <laughs> most, no doubt. We're most certainly going to need it. Alright, and then we're gonna make him evocation just because that's the easy way to do things. Alright, and then I like to pick up Magic Missile and Ray of Sickness. And then we'll drop Witch Bolt and Grease for Magic Missile. I know a lot of people like Grease as a level 1 spell, but I don't know, I've just never been much of a fan of it. Ron asks, how was your evil playthrough? Uh, appropriately dastardly. I will say, for the evil playthrough, I was surprised how much stuff changed. Like, the core plot beats were the same, but how you get there changed a lot, which uh, was really cool to see. It felt very different, even if it, you know, technically wasn't that, that different overall, because, again, same core plot beats, but a lot of situations played out very differently, which was fun. How long does each playthrough take me? Uh, the first one took about 50, and the second one on Tactician took about 40 once I knew what I was doing. So I, I guess we'll see how it goes from there. Was my evil playthrough Dark Urge? No, my first playthrough was Dark Urge, and I actually uh, played that one a little more of a goody two-shoes. And then after I was done, I um, save-scummed my way through some of the evil options. And then my full evil playthrough was a Cleric of Tiamat. Dying. All right. Now we'll go grab Lazel. All right. Make a quick save here. You think it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. The thing and it's your scum. I like to get Lazel, but I feel really bad about killing these people. Like <laughs> if it comes to that. And I've failed this check before. And if you do, you kinda have to fight them if you want Lazel. He's right. Let's go. We need to check. You didn't hear it. Shook out camp good, so we came for a look. Northwest. Okay. And be enough gawking. Get me down. Never. <laughs> I love that little interaction when you're like, say please, and she's like, never. Which makes me laugh. Observe and listen. Okay. Uh, by the way, don't shoot her down before those two have walked a good ways away, or they will attack you anyway. If you, you know, you're actually trying to keep them alive. <laughs> Giant monkey says I failed that check the earlier and broke my oath about it. All your senses. <laughs> Auspicious. Exactly. But my careful. All right. It, get the Yankee protocol is clear. You, you must come a crash. Lazelle is super useful because of her default battle master class. Uh, pack to the blade lock can only pack with one weapon, right? Um, at a time, yeah. You can change what packed weapon you have, but you can only have one active. Okay. So she gets action surge right away, and no one back home will ever believe this. She's going to be the bearer of our burdens, which is to say, all the heavy stuff is going to Lazel. No one stopped me yet. And... Oh, enough waiting! I crave blood. I could have swore that goblin bow was an upgrade it's for somebody. Everything. Maybe I'm just thinking of something else. Mind my step. Uh. Yeah, a few people saying Lazel was their MVP as well. Yeah, so just a base class fighter, especially Battlemaster, can be incredibly useful because at max level they get so many attacks per turn, especially if you take like Great Weapon Master, that 
Uh, I mean, they can kind of just power their way through even really big enemies. Just kind of brute force them. Okay, and then here's a big fight coming up, so we can enter the gru yeah, the Druid Grove. Which I always try to start on this hill, because if you start it over here, they tend to murder Gale. <laughs> Here's Will's new intro. I kind of like it compared to the old one. Provoke the blade. Like the cinematic of it, I mean. And suffering sting. Best companions for an evil playthrough. Uh, I went Minthara, Lazel, and uh, Gale for the most part, but then I had Astarian with me a lot as well. One thing I really like about this fight is that the RNG can really push it a lot of ways. I've seen all three of these guys die in like the first couple hits before. <laughs> and then other times they just massacre all these goblins without me barely even getting a chance to do anything. Ugh, that sucks. Don't want to leave that for the archer over there. There we go. Time to waste. Swords meet sorcery. Alright, Gale. Real quick, we'll handle his action bar. Alright, so. Good old magic missile. I try to kill that shaman or uh, booyag or magic user as early as possible because she loves to turn around and target me up here. <laughs> Did I feel there was a difference between the difficulty of an evil and a good playthrough? Um, evil, I would say, is a little bit harder. And that's not because it's genuinely harder. It's just that a lot of the evil decisions lead you to harder fights, but they're, they're hardly unmanageable or anything. They can, if they catch you off guard, you're probably going to have a bad time in some instances, though. All right, so try to kill you first. I'll bleed every last one of you! <laughs> that bugbear can do some damage to this point. DOS 2 and BG3 play pretty similar in the sense that they're RPGs, not so much in about every other way. All right, so my end. That was a good hit. Do I have Karmic Dice on or off? Uh, I think it's on. It's on by default, and I didn't reset it, so it, it should be. Do I reclass my companions? Uh, some of them. Okay. Let's try. Move on down. Our missile there to deal the most damage possible. And then. Uh, I don't feel like he is outside of my normal range, but okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's just not shoving everything literally unplayable. Um, there are certain, like, boss fights and stuff that are made a lot easier by that, but, uh, like, in general, I just don't think it's as useful as it needs to be. Jadnar says, love, love, love your content. I appreciate it. Glad you enjoy it. Uh, does this game have a new game plus? No, it does not. All right, so. Kill this ward and we'll be done. That 
Now, to share a random little anecdote with you guys, one thing that weirds me out about this fight is that a couple of these goblins are marked as stealing if you try to loot them, like this one right here. Must be a horde nearby. And they don't have anything on them to really, like, you know, make that worthwhile or a big deal, but I'm... I really feel like that's probably a mistake, right? Because, like, who is going to care if I loot that goblin? <laughs> What's the Jack of all trades achievement? Uh, so it is multi-classing a character with one in every class. All right, we'll put the gloves of power on. What's next? Isel, we can like it's well be done. turn it on. Cause that will uh, debuff enemies you hit with a melee attack. And they Can't took away the uh, debuff it used to put on you in early access. So that's nice. How much farther and can I away go? we go. What's the advantage of giving Shadowheart Pad and Paladin levels? Um, I like to mix a little bit of Paladin with Cleric, just because less uh, less about advantage and more just like there stuff I enjoy here, doing. You, you led them straight to us, and you let them take the. And Please, you are right, begging me to open the gate. To, uh, Anything to save yourself, you coward! Defuse this situation, but it doesn't really matter either way. You're worried about your... Enough! Could be on their way. Then we'll talk to Zevlor, who's going to ask us to talk oh, to Kaga. Thank you. Well, this is Kaga and the Druid's there. Grove is we trying to push stay. all the tieflings out, but who we'll have be taken refuge here. Leave. Perhaps you could... But before we do that, we're going to come up here. Okay, so while everyone's distracted with the guy that dies in the cutscene over there, I like to come get all this gold and these potions. The potions are variable. Like, there's not always an elixir of hill giant strength in there, but I'm certainly not complaining about it. One day I'll catch a break. Am I going evil or good? Uh, mostly good, just because some of the fights are going to be easier. Where did my dice color come from? Uh, that is from early access, if I remember correctly. The people who had early access got bumped up to the digital deluxe, which came with a dice skin. This bugbear. At the ready. Can actually be arranged. Is it not gonna kill me? No. I was hoping because he was surprised it would work. Alright, we missed anyway. My path be true. Oh. So he hits like a truck if he gets, if he gets that first hit in. He'll do a ton of damage. There we go. You have good timing, but you let me guess. Okay, and then your devil mistress sent you we'll get to a get her soul, soul coin as an award for this for the check that is very easy to pass. Here. Though to be fair, you can't just like you ask for it. To explain, but if you're not here. On my way. And Carlac uses the soul coins, which she tells you right when you meet her, so it's not a spoiler. Alejandro says hi, greetings from Spain. How's it going? It's been always nice day. to see people from other countries. I think that's cool. Soon. All right. Give it a short oh, rest real quick. Then we'll go talk to the vendor. Do party members ever react to you stealing stuff? Not really, no. This is about your Does the game also stutter gets. for you in open areas? Um, it stutters pretty bad when I get to the city, but the rest of it's not so bad. About your stupid apprenticeship. The Rye Brock says good evening from UK, people from Brazil, Poland. See, like, I don't know, that's that's really cool to me. I think that's that's something I enjoy about doing YouTube probably more than 
just about anything else is getting to interact with people from all well over met. the world that like obviously I'd never get to otherwise. Goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast all if right. you do. Just some bits and bobs I know. So need. sell some of this junk we've been picking up. And then We don't even know these people. Excuse me. That doesn't um, matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers. Doesn't really have us. anything we need right now. That's not what I said. On some characters, I buy that axe because it's pretty good. No. That's not something I really need for this guy. So I think we're just gonna take the gold and jet. Sylvanas, guy. Ah, oh, people from Germany. That's cool. Uh, Fate asks, do I watch other reviews before making yours? Uh, no, I actually pretty deliberately try not to. Sometimes I'll watch them after. Bells. Ron says leave. you must use the wares. No, I'll I must gamble our lives. Oh, <laughs> can we all just take these or yell louder? That's fine too. What's the plan for this run? Uh, to try Thank to you. multiclass it's the right into thing all to do, and you know classes. It. Um, Thank you. But I, from there, I don't know. We'll kind of see where it goes. I mean, worst case scenario, we can reload. What's Die, my favorite D&D race? Uh, my favorite place. overall is probably ASMR. Just because there's a lot of ways that can play out. All right, we'll give the metallic gloves to Shadow Hearts. Not that they're much good, but better than nothing. Loot some stuff before we turn back around. All classes, that'd be absurd. You're never going to guess what we named this character. <laughs> Uh, did I make a review where my conclusion was the opposite of public opinion? Ah, uh, I guess it's, it's rare that it's like completely different from everyone else, but like, yeah, sure. Sometimes like, uh, the Callisto protocol and Forspoken, I think were probably two big ones that I went kind of against the grain on. Go on. You just have to buy the <sighs> Advocate yeah, will with us here. She's out there now. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. A He's gonna go to camp, but we get some experience for recruiting him. Who's my favorite reviewer out there to watch? Um, I don't really have a favorite to be honest with you. Um, I gotta, I, <laughs> if I'm being wind. honest, I don't watch other people's reviews for the sake of them being reviews. Um, I usually but. watch them to, ready for to see how other people approach I things and put things together. So it's it's less that I enjoy their content and more just like market research, if you want to put it that way. I just I'm curious how other people approach things. Do I stick with a specific party or cycle through? Uh, it depends. I'll usually have like a main party for an individual playthrough. Let's see that. But I'll you switch really them out know as what I need. you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet but I'll keep at it. Oh, yes. All right, there's that. We get inspiration for talking to him. Can't and then... To stay idle. I'm gonna give her a lay on hand to herself. Do I wish Larian would do an expansion that would bring the level cap up to 20? Uh, you know, honestly, that's just not something I care that much about. Um, I, I know it means a lot to a lot of people, but... A high level D and D isn't that fun, and in a video game where you have to adapt all those things to make sense, I just don't think it's going to be as interesting as people want it to be. And I think it's like a recipe for disappointment for a lot of people. Lower. John says, "Love your reviews. I appreciate it." S saw us for we saw it. Will I be reviewing Ratchet and Clank? Uh, no plans Tristan. to do so. No, not really. Kim not really my thing. All right, there is Lazelle's conversation that she the tea sling was clear by covenant. Has to I can have. say no. Nope. Well, it doesn't have to have, but is helpful. It's what she wants to do in the Druid Grove. How would I build the Trick Cleric Rogue Shadowheart? Uh, it, so, if you want to like lean into the stealth portions of it, I think it can be pretty useful. But I, I'll admit that I don't like the trickery domain very much. So, like realistically, I just wouldn't. But if I was going to, 
That's, I would uh, shoot before make you use lose your of nerve, the Tiefling. stealth advantages and if everything and try to, to essentially with. do like a light rogue build. All right, uh, we'll just let the goblin die. I don't care that much. It's possible to break Saza out and get like a whole separate quest line for her if you guys didn't know, but I don't really feel like bothering with all that. Tempest and Light Domain are awesome. Uh, I would say Tempest is probably my favorite cleric domain, which is why I made the build that I made today with it. But uh, there, there's a there's a few other ones that I think are cool. I think Light is the fire one. I think that one can be fun as well. Buster says, hope we get a DLC to go into Avernus and beat up Zeriel. Yeah. I mean... So Zeriel's like my favorite character in Dungeons and Dragons, so I think it would be cool to see anything with her involved like that. But I don't know that we would see an expansion for that. Best to fill your bed. Some camp supplies. Talk to Auntie Ethel if the camera would stop freaking out on me here. Auntie Ethel will sort. Are you all right? What is it, Petal? What's wrong? No, do you need anything? Hey, she sells potions, and she gives you a free uh, greater health potion if you accept it. Uh, the giant strength potion she sells right here at the beginning can Take be helpful. Care, no, sweetie. Will I ever make any more Diablo 4 builds? Uh, probably not. I just really don't have the time to test them. I'd die if I met Leroy And that's the issue. Place. Like... So Never something you'll see with a lot of people doing builds, especially on YouTube, is that it's not a build so much as it is a theory craft, and that's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but uh, any build video I put out, I'd like to have like tested it to actually you know, know how it plays, and I just don't have the time to do that with Diablo 4 and also cover the other things I want to cover, so it's very unlikely. These kids steal from you if you let them, which is honestly super funny. Please, last room. Here we can see the tension between the tieflings and the druids' grove. And you will wait for Corgus Will Bowen donated five dollars? Said, "Hey, Mort, love the content. Keep it up. I appreciate it. I plan on continuing for a while, so no worries there. Who's going to be my lock picker? My main character." Mm. You. Right. Um, I like what? to just be super rude you. to these guys because, like, no matter what you say to them, they let you through to see Kaka. <laughs> and it makes me laugh. Then we can talk to Valo. A few questions. If you search your mind. And the last question. Before he makes off for the going. goblin camp. I'm just preparing. Ooh. Why didn't I make reviews for the Dark Souls games? I've clearly played them. Uh, so there is only so much time in a day, and even games I have played before take time. Like it's it's not something I can just do magically. <laughs> so it it's just a time thing. I have played a few of them. Uh, I have I have the really old Prepare to Die edition for the original Dark Souls. Even um, in fact, I have like. God, I think it's like 70 or 80 hours in that game on Steam, but I don't have any of the achievements because I've owned that game for so long that uh, the achievements were added well after I had stopped playing it. So like, I I'm familiar with them, but going back to review them, it would just be... Yes, I see. I don't know. I don't think I'd enjoy it much because those games haven't seen a lot of support, and I don't think anybody's waiting for my opinion on them. So it's, it's just something I got to balance in terms of like content you. and what people want to see, that kind of thing. Harley Roysden, which is somebody I know, uh, <laughs> donated five bucks. Said, "When we are seeing, when are we seeing the bear scene?" Uh, well, that's the thing, Harley. We're not because I like to make money. Uh, okay. So, I'll go talk to Afira, then we'll go in and talk to Kaga. 
How do I play Souls like on a mouse and keyboard? Um, I asked the same thing, except in reverse for how people play those with a controller because I've been playing a mouse and keyboard my entire life and I hardly use a controller for anything. So picking up one at all feels incredibly clumsy to me. And Sorry. while I could spend the time to like build up the muscle memory and get good with a controller, she just said the same thing. It's just so much easier for me to use a mouse and that's keyboard. That that's what I would rather do. Died. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the noise coming. What kind there of build am I going so for Jack of all blood. trades? Uh, we're going to uh, be using the arrows that have all the different damage smell. types and everything it with a high all, dexterity God, to try to get some use out of that because I don't feel like the class abilities are going to be super useful. I wish Elfira was a companion. Oh man, so like a quick yes or no. Do people mind if I spoil something super early in the Dark Urge quest line that happens like right when you get to the Druid Grove or like right after? Like does anybody care about that? It involves Elfira. And it got it's it's a funny story about me personally, but I don't want to spoil it for people. Okay, everybody seems cool with it. Yeah. So, when I was first doing the review copy, I was playing the Dark Urge for like my first playthrough, and I, I did the thing with Alfira that you can do up there where you help her make her song and everything. And the bird knows. right after that, the she next time you know. camp, mm, she'll come to not. your camp and be like, oh my god, I want to join your party. And because... It was a review copy, and that had never happened before. I was like, oh my god, they added Alfira as the bard companion and kept it a secret. How cool is that? And then I, I go to sleep, wake up the next morning, and she got murdered by it the Dark Urge you, in your sleep as part of the Dark Urge storyline. And they they got me with day. that one. I thought they were going to let her add, like, let you add her to the party as the bard. The I was really excited about it, and, and then, safe. yeah, she, she dies. <laughs> Only Master Hull. If not, I fear for my pe- Master Halson did not jade. All right. Now we're going to go talk to Kaga, but we're going to drop a save so I can save Arabella because it makes me sad when she dies. I'm sorry. Have you lost your senses, Kaga? This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Rath? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out... And keep... Come. Do it. Nice. Very... Out. <laughs> Thank... House. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just what do I think's been the most challenging combat encounter in the game? Um, it's just something I have to live with. Positive. Um, you can trust me on that. I, crap, I just, it slips my mind, but there was one like just earlier today. I was like, God, I hate this fight. I, off the top, if, I, if it comes back to me, I'll mention it. But I did have one in mind. Uh, okay. We've been through quite a lot. Would likely more to come. Leave Shadowheart alone. They all have something to say about us saving Arabella. He tells us about his magical problem. What it comes down to is this. That is why I... There'll be danger involved. I'm sure... As do I... I hope I... Which is all well and good. From saving Arabella, you get a locket that's really convenient to give to him. Then we'll talk to Kaga here. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? That monkey says I wanted Kaga as a druid companion. Yeah, I could see that, sure. First you... No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus. You... The viper... And she asks us to Must find a way to get Zevlor and the, the tieflings game. out of here. We've shown them once. We take but if you do a little seriously. bit of investigating, you can find that not everything is quite what it seems we here. Well which is immediately apparent if you are playing a druid... But for anybody else, if you look around, you can come find this chest over here. Called Kaga's chest. This. See that? 
to hurry up before I get caught. I don't need any attention. Yeah, right so now. that guy can walk over here and see you if you're not careful, because he like just checks this uh, bookshelf right. out. Time to skulk about. But if we read these notes, we can find out that Kaga has been meeting with shadow druids. And we can go find some proof of that. If you're a druid, you'll actually sense something's off, and they'll essentially tell you to do this as a proper quest, which I thought was cool. All right, then we'll talk to Nettie about our tadpole. I see you. And she'll tell us about health and being captured and everything. You seem healthy. A tadpole. I can't. We need to be quick. This way. Canby says the surprise face reveal. Uh, not a face reveal. My face has never been a secret. It's in tons of videos, tons of past live streams. I just don't put it in my videos all the time, so people think this it is a surprise. The problem is you. Saw a few other people asking the about the achievement. Jack of all trades achievement is Seems so. uh, one level Can't in every class right without start. using withers to respec. I pity you. All right. Of course. How do you pick up? All right, if we're honest this with Nettie here, she'll give us some poison. free wyvern poison. Swear to me. <clears throat> You'll swallow and if you, you lie to her or you're not telling her the truth, I, Master, uh, she'll try to kill you. There should be a... Not yet. Otherwise, she'll ask you Whatever to go find Halston there. for her. If you can find Halston, thank you. It would mean everything to the groom. <laughs> Will I shave I Absurd I to make more. his face reveal? Uh, I don't think they have any sort of cosmetic o like sure way to change your face, really. Yet. Went to the old temple of Saluna. Uh, Sol Nascent and joined Master as a supporter. Halsen That's awesome. Thank you back. so much. Good luck out there. Okay. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Now I'm going to wait for her to walk away. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. So I can steal this Mind Flayer Parasite. And that should be pretty much everything in here. Because now we're going to go talk to Zevlor. I don't want to kill anyone, but I won't tell him what's what. Not again. And then we are going to go do the chapel nearby so we can pick up Withers. What are the parasites used for? Uh, illicit powers later on. Okay, so if we talk to Arabella's parents after saving her, Our little hellions. they will reward you with this amulet, and that cantrip isn't useful, but Gale can eat this, so I like to do it just to have an item to give to Gale that's really easy to get. All right, and then... We'll come over here, talk to Zevalor. Where do I rank the BG3 story among all the CRPGs I played? Uh, I've really enjoyed it. Um, as a narrative, I think it's definitely up there with some of the better ones, but I will say that the production value of this game, it really makes that story feel much more cinematic and immersive than pretty much any other game, which is definitely unique to BG3. So even regardless of how people feel about the story, there's something to be said of the quality with which that story was told. All right, talk to Zevlor. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here. All right. It's, so some, we can offer to help no or tell him to get lost, to whatever. Ask, but every... He'll ask us to kill the goblins so he can no, leave, sir. which is essentially what we're going to do anyway. Sometimes when I'm streaming, I look at the viewer count and stress myself out a little bit. I don't stream a ton. Sometimes it makes me a little anxious when I look over and realize there's like hundreds of people watching me do something. <laughs> All right, so 
There's a fight up here that we'll get to, but I'm gonna come down here for some easy experience and hopefully hit level three before we go do that. Do chains and rings show on the characters? I assume you mean like necklaces and rings? No, they don't actually show on the character model. Okay, so we can talk our way out of this first fight. <laughs> Regetta says, don't worry, we're judging everything you do. Exactly. All right, so if we pass a check, we can just skip this first or fight altogether. Is it a ship you're after? Don't matter either Which way. with all of our talking all of skills should be pretty easy to do. Well, come on. Uh There's so many ways to get them to leave. I've just never found a lot of value in fighting them. And that pushed us up to level three, which is nice. So we'll save real quick just in case it crashes. It's like that leveling up thing had me bothered from earlier. Ugh, okay. So, next class. I don't think this part matters much, to be honest. Um, like, I knew I wanted to start with fighter and rogue, but like everything else is kind of just playing it by ear, if I'm being real. Um, we could go Bard for the extra abilities, which would be performance mostly at this point, but, or we could pick up a magic class for a little bit of casting. I am tempted to take Warlock just out of favoritism, to be honest. Wizard for jump. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea wizard for the uh... I kind of want something with spell slots to be honest um, I'm not using that so shillelagh's not great would get us our enhanced leap though yeah I think I'm gonna go lock just cause uh, of who I am as a person <laughs> alright so our one level might as well take these two, sure. And then... Uh, I'm thinking the Fiend, just because their level one thing is really, really good. But Fate Presence isn't bad either. But I think we're going to go Fiend just for Dark One's Blessing. Yeah, like, so part of me kind of wants to see how good Fae Presence would be in this build, because, like, that that's not a bad move by any means, but the Fiend seems like the safe option with the free temp hit points. Yeah, we're gonna go fiend. Now for our spells, um, I really like hellish rebuke. Like that's just a personal favorite. And then I think hex makes a certain degree of sense, but we're only getting one level, so it's not like we're gonna get a lot out of this. But I think we're gonna go hellish rebuke and hex. All right, What's and everybody else. Down? Should be a little easier. So uh, we're gonna give Shadow Heart one more level of Paladin. Uh, we'll grab uh, probably just grab Defense to be honest with you. I don't necessarily need more damage out of her weapon with her, but we could go Dueling and then set her up for a decent Divine Smite. Uh, we'll go Wrathful just because I like that one. All right, another level of wizard for Gale. All 
out of daggers and I personally like Scorching Ray, but because he's a wizard, like we can learn everything we need anyway. Sometimes instead of Scorching Ray, I'll take Acid Arrow because that one deals a ton of damage. But Scorching Ray is a personal favorite. And then every time you gain uh, another prepared slot as a wizard, he's constantly trying to prepare Witch Bolt as an evocation wizard, and it gets really annoying. I wish it would just action, ask you, which technically action. it does at level up, but I'm lazy, so. All right, then we get our Battle Master. We're going to pick up Repost, Push, and... Precision. Precision just adds the die to the damage, and sometimes that's useful if you don't necessarily want to do, like, an attack. But these are the way I like to start it. Pushing is really important for just knocking them off of people. Or knocking things off, or uh, people off of things, rather. Okay. Get Lazel's hot bar sorted out real quick. else is good to go awesome real quick we're gonna loot the outside here before we go into the chapel david says i've had some good luck with disarming disarming is really good i like disarming as well um we'll we'll pick that one up next that's curious Disarming is really handy because even if the enemy picks up their weapon, they'll waste an action uh, re-equipping it. There is... Oh man, I failed it. There's another uh, dirt thing over here you can dig up if you pass the check. Gonna loot some stuff and then break into the chapel. So the way I like to do this. Oh, entangling roots. I was like, why am I not moving? Is if you hit this, it will create an alternate way in. Sets you up for success. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware you can dig manually. So if, if you were to use the shovel and you know exactly where something is, you can still just dig it up, but you know. The role play part of me is like, well, how would I know that was there? I don't I don't care for it. That's a level of metagaming too too far for me. Oh, don't. Is it gonna what in the world? There we go. It did, for some, I, he somehow jumped, but it didn't like acknowledge that he was in there. That was strange. Okay. So. going to just attack the guy with the most health first. I don't know. I don't think Eldritch Blast will set those off. It's just force damage. I think you have to use fire. But either way, we're about to blow them all up. We don't want her to move too close, but I do kind of want it to stop them from running directly to my weaker guys. Ignis. All right, now Shadow Heart's got Firebolt, so we can hit it with that. She just got a bat. Nice. 
and that'll do a bunch of damage to all of them. One can't always then we've got attacked. Gale here. Make absolutely sure that guy dies. Wonderful. Hey, someone's in here. That guy ran to get his friend. How difficult do I think Jack of All Trades will be? Um, I think it'll be a little frustrating later. I don't think Act One is going to be so bad. Let my name be known. Oh my God! Still on my feet. Trying not to get set on fire there, but wonderful. Yeah, see, and there's our dark one's blessing. All right, and this guy's got to walk around. You're gonna have to cheese a lot, probably a little, at the very least, yeah. short rest before we start looting everything. There's some good stuff down here initially. Forget it, because I love magic missiles. Yeah, magic missiles is a great spell. You can get a really strong alternative version of it later, which we might go over when we get there, but it's ridiculous. Does Jack of All Trades have a difficulty requirement? Uh, kind of. You can't um, multi-class on Explorer. You have to be on Balanced. Is there a way to have a perma alt um, to like permanently highlight everything you mean? the important stuff. Oh, by the way, little Easter egg. Portrait of Fane from DOS 2. I found Losa, the Red Prince, and Fane. I haven't found the other three yet as far as like photo or uh, portraits and everything and Easter eggs for them. Should be just about everything over here. Then we can loot everybody else. Mostly they've just got junk, though. What's hiding here? And then we gotta hit a switch to open this door over here. There's a lot of fun lore books in here, kind of about what this chapel is actually for or who it was a temple to. Has there been any explanation for what the plan is for the build? Well, the first two levels, I had a pretty solid plan, and we'll kind of have to see how the rest of it pans out. 
But initially we went fighter to get all the proficiencies, and then we were going rogue for a bunch of uh, skill proficiencies with things like persuasion and whatnot to talk our way out of stuff. And then we are using dexterity and bow so we can make use of all the different arrow types to hopefully make good use of that since we won't be super useful otherwise. Dropping down to this floor from here is a good way to avoid the big fire trap. This place wasn't built for the living. My face protects me. Oh, better heal Gale. mind and well in it oh doctor doctor doc doctor orangutan i guess that was a weird name donated like 50 dollars. that is crazy generous thank you have i touched on alchemy yet uh, i haven't done a video or anything That's for it but way. i mean the alchemy system itself is pretty straightforward it's just um these are your actual potions these are ingredients you'll find uh, when you pick up various, like, things like rogue morsels, anything that's an ingredient, it'll activate one of these that you can then make a ingredient for the actual potion with, such as uh, ashes or salts, that kind of thing. So, pretty straightforward little system. Okay, so... be able to pretty easily pick this. Into a room full of a bunch of skeletons and armed scribes. A couple chests around. No sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded. Is Explorer a class? No, Explorer is a difficulty. How did I find the difficulty jump from balance to tactician? Um, for the most part, it's okay. Tactician isn't that crazy, except for the bosses, to be honest. Most of the enemies will have like increased health, but it's not incredibly dramatic. It's the bosses in particular that'll have like 200% more health. All right, gonna make sure I oh, grabbed traps, his weapon. Please. Uh, Jay Wall joined as a supporter. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, any idea why Atlas Fallen got so much backlash today? Um, I don't know that it got backlash. It's just uh, it's an okay double A game launching in the middle of a bunch of highly anticipated triple A releases. It's I, th I think it's more of a death by comparison than the merits of that particular game. Forbidden knowledge. Okay. Doubt. Another soul coin, a ring. Can pass a check with this book over here. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a Which we can do lock. as charisma, even. Which is probably our best bet, actually, because we picked up Warlock earlier. This will give you a little foreshadowing about the dead three over here. Uh, how is the Underdark portion of the game? Um, I... Whoops. I enjoyed it, um... I think it's it's really small. It's not like you're exploring this wild portion of the Underdark that's the like its huge own level, but what, was once what they did with it was now fun. An obliterated scroll. You have a sense these are names, a list, but of what? Gods. The love in All right. There's a little extra experience for us. And then, real quick, before we do this next fight, we're going to long rest, because just about everybody is out of spell slots. And while I could recover Still some alive. of Gale's, so probably about time for our first long rest anyway. Do I like the inspiration system? Yeah, actually, I like the inspiration system a lot. 
Um, I think they did a good job with that. It's uh, a pretty key tabletop mechanic that Another I think they managed forward. to implement in a fun way. I would, would that I were doing battle up there. The tears right, follow. You get hit. Some of our initial starting conversations with companions. Oh, so, oh, there it is. Sometimes they put the chest and camp in a place where you can't um, get to it. And this is from the digital deluxe rewards is what all this is. Mostly I want that dagger cape, which are just cosmetic mostly. And then there's a bunch of handy dandy potions. to drink that one but the main thing I want there is the food really and then we will put that down there to put all of our miscellaneous stuff in so it stays out of our way See if anybody needs it. Question for you. Uh, I'm using Shadowheart as Ranger Cleric, but I'm not wild about her domain. Uh, no, I mean, you could respec her domain without too much of a, a hassle. The fact that she's the trickery domain is a little weird to me, honestly. Um, you could give her just about any domain and it would be fine. The main thing is that she's a cleric of Shar, which isn't really going to change. You know, will he know how to bring the worm under control? I'm not easily impressed by people, but... You, you, uh, <laughs> watch him sleep. Uh, All right, talk to everybody. I've showed no signs of turning. In oh, and let's get get their introduction dialogue. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? Do I recommend an you evil playthrough? The I, the so the core the plot booster. beats of the story are going to be the Can't same regardless. Head to Baldur's Gate. But let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? We sh Um. I think it's really fun to do an evil playthrough to see what changes and, like, how you get to the places you're getting to. Because I thought it was worth it. But the core plot is the same. So if it's not something you want to do, it, it's not really important to do so, in my opinion. Unless you just really want to see the options. But I definitely think... <sighs> Doing an evil run, especially as the Dark Urge, would be worth it just to get the extra story. All right, now that we are all rested up, off we go. Okay. Come up to either side of this, hit the button. Oh, yeah, hold on. I gotta. I keep talking and forgetting whether or not I checked this guy. It's important to take his weapon, the scribes don't matter. That's a first. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Normally, it like immediately triggers combat the second uh, you hit the button, but I guess I was standing in a weird enough way that it didn't actually trigger right away. So the scribes are spell users, the witch, you know. which means taking their weapons doesn't really amount to much, but. That warrior over there Victory. is pretty crippled by it. Eerie says, is a solo playthrough an achievement? Uh, no, there's not an achievement for a solo playthrough. I will probably try to do one at some point. Um, they seem to have implied it's certainly possible, but we'll, we'll see, I suppose. But no, there's not an achievement directly for it. That was a really good hit for her, jeez. 
All right, they're all going to have to run into range, so I don't have to worry about them doing anything this particular round. They should pretty much all just dash and run towards me. the important one to kill as quickly as possible the scribes here are going to cast darkness which is annoying and then they'll do like i think it's acid something or another charles cutter donated 50 dollars. geez thank you so much um watch so many of your videos love them all first time seeing a live stream keep up the fantastic work i will certainly try i don't do a ton of streaming but the videos will of course continue Hit my green screen there. <laughs> Am I going full mind flare? Um, I'm not sure yet. We're definitely gonna be making use of the powers though. Swift and lethal. Oh come on! Come on. Green. Come stay idle. I don't fancy their chances. Take this. What are my thoughts on uh, how BG3 is blowing up on Steam and the media? Uh, I think it's great. Um, as someone who has covered CRPGs forever and they've been this like incredibly niche thing, seeing one hit what I would consider mainstream appeal has been a real delight. I swear to God if I keep missing. Christ. Um, no, it's, it's been really great to see. I think... I think some people get a little defensive about it because, like, again, the mainstream appeal. But uh, in my opinion, a rising tide raises all ships, as they say. So I'm really happy to see it. What was the occasion for live streaming? Uh, I I knew people really wanted to see me play through this particular game, and this achievement in particular seemed like uh, a fun one to do that with. Have I tried co-op at all? Uh, a, a tiny bit. I'm not really a huge co-op guy. I have played it an incredibly small amount. Not enough to be an authority by any means. Oh, crap. One thing, this is just a random aside, but the sensitivity of, like, the hotbar arc icons can be just, like, off sometimes. They didn't want to surrender their valuables. You'll wind up, like, dragging them off your bar when you just, like, clicked it. Fools. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. Okay. What's in here? Some of them will now magically have gold on them, despite the fact that we looted them all previously. At least I think we did, to be honest. They get a little distracted talking. <laughs> uh, Walker says I always lock the bar. Uh, so I like to unlock the bar to keep them... Like, you know, free to be moved, but I think the sensitivity is like a little off in my opinion. But to be fair, yes, the lock option is there. Is the VOD from this going to be unloaded or uh, uploaded? Yes, it will be. It should just be a video immediately after I'm done streaming. So, what are now? I have a question for thee. Okay, what creepy undead Wilt thou asking us the value of quest? life. So I ask again. I th we we will. And he will ultimately join our camp and become our respec and resurrection person. If you pay a small fee, fee of gold, he can resurrect people who die and respec you if you want, though. Well, he might re, uh, resurrect someone for us. He's not going to be much good for the respec on this particular playthrough. Uh, Foot says, "Does this question matter?" Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have any like long-lasting effects. Uh, <laughs> I almost said the name. Uh, Withers is a. Uh, he's a character that is probably someone else altogether. I will say that. And his connection to the plot is apparent without being direct. So, I mean, more than anything, he's a plot device, but also he resurrects and does everything else for us. Okay, so now we've got all of that sorted out. Uh, we'll go do the harpies up here.
Does respecting companions break the achievement? I don't know, but I also don't want to do it out of fear that it might. <laughs> Uh, so truth be told, I don't know if you can respect the companions and still make it work. Um, I'm not going to purely because I don't know if it would void it or not. It really depends on uh, what the achievement is like tracking and looking at. Wait for these guys to walk all the way over there. You don't take the amulet. Um, did I not pick the amulet up? Oh, that was a good, uh, yeah, I guess I didn't. I opened the container and forgot to actually click loot. I'll have to go back and grab the, the speak with dead amulet in there. Do monks and barbarians compete for good unarmed gear or is there enough for both? There is a surprising amount of gear for unarmed stuff. Um... There, there's still not enough that I would say you could like fully deck out two people, but uh, there, there's probably enough, I would say, depending on exactly what you want to do. Raphael? My, my, what? What would... Well met, I am Raphael. Pleasure, I'm absurd. Very John. God. He's going to offer his devil's bargain. There. Middle of Literally somewhere. does not matter what you say here. The, it might just. Am I a friend? But I could fix it all like that. And hope. <laughs> Moving in. So he's basically saying that uh, if we run out of options, he could help us out with our tadpole problem. It's beautiful. <laughs> Eduardo says the power of a devil is nothing compared to the power of absurd. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I have a feeling this is going to be a tough one, guys. There is a bit of loot over here we can dig up if we get lucky something over there yeah I was also a little surprised that Raphael uh, cutscene dropped so quick I normally get it um, not right there uh, if you go Outside of the Druid's Grove towards the Blighted Village is where I normally pick it up at, but that's definitely the earliest it's ever happened. I've never gotten it in that particular location before. Okay. Let's fight the Harpies. Above the waves, beckoning me, drowning out all logical thought, a suffocating, yearning, sudden. No. Yeah. They're trying to lure in that kid. Four of them. So. Probably just Eldritch Blast, so we're not at a disadvantage. They're all gonna fly at us and take a swing. Hellish Rebuke. Ooh, 16, that was a good hit. Does taking more tadpoles affect the ending even if you don't use the powers? Um, I don't want to get too much into like ending spoilers, especially on the first stream here, but uh, I mean, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. 
Blazel gets lured by their song like all the time. It's very annoying. Look to Queen Six. All right. He just keeps passing those concentration checks. There it is, finally. What is this? I will have your head, Harpy. <laughs> Rolled a nat one on the repost, of course. Sneak ranged attack. Just ever so slightly more chance to hit with the melee. The Harpies are no match for the power of Absurd. Uh, so believe it or not, this fight tends to be a little more RNG heavy, in my opinion, than a lot of them. That was a good crit. Um, just because the luring song, like whether or not you pass the checks against that, make a lot of difference. And I have had like this fight once or twice where I've just gotten eight alive. But I see you now for what you are. Time to press ahead. No. And he'll tell yes. us about the little I mean, thieves' den of children find back him. at the grove. Oh, action, not reaction. <sighs> he'll lay Zell up a little bit. If not, oh loot all these harpies. Your Gale portrait is different than mine. Yeah, so sometimes the portraits are a little bit different. I don't know exactly what um, that scamp prompts the change, but some of them do uh, Always change a little bit. Come around here. There's loot to be had. Have I come across any Easter eggs or pop culture references? Um, nothing pop culture, but there are some Easter eggs for Divinity Original Sin 2. I showed off one of them earlier with their picture of Fane. And then you can find one of the Red Prince and Losa. I haven't, I haven't found any that I would specifically say are like pop culture or anything. What is true says week has been long and the weekend's going to be even shorter playing Baldur's Gate 3. Sounds about right. Not reaction. Uh, someone asks if they've missed anything by not saving some people in a basement later in the game. And I would Let's tell you that many doing. actions have consequences, but I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> And there is another good ring to give Gale for his magical addiction that we can find there. They like, you know, his uh, feed the orb or whatever in his chest, however you want to put it. But those. No time to rest. These two, this locket and that ring, I always found are really good for it because they just give like really basic cantrips. Which is handy to get rid of. All right, so that should pretty much just about do it. We need to go talk to the thieves' den in the grove before we head on out to greener pastures. Without delay. Hey, Starrux in the chat. That's awesome. Uh, I am, in fact, enjoying BG3. Then. Very fun. Uh, for those who don't know, Starrock is a community manager for Owlcat.
Brayton says Scratch has the best dog mechanics ever. Yeah, so Scratch, if you can get him and the owl bear together, I think they have a lot of great, like, uh, they add a lot to the camp in particular. So, Giff, aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? Thar says, looking forward to taking a look at the game Chucky. myself. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, I think they did a lot of really great right. things with it. I'm still not wild about, like, 5th edition D&D &D specifically. Still very much so a Pathfinder guy in that respect, but in a lot of ways, I think they did a great job here. All right, so on our way to the Thieves' Den, which we can get into by talking to Donnie over here now that we've saved that kid from the Harpies. So which playthrough is this for you, third or more? Um, I have this one and a separate one going at the same time, and I guess together they would be my third one. Um, in addition to this, which is for the stream, of course, I'm doing another one with a druid. Okay, so he nods. Then the dragon's it. lair. His eyes flickered. Which unlocks this hatch here, and now we can go talk to Mole, or Mole, I don't know, the leader of the thieflings. I want to have a word. Well, Orc Lord says, watched you for a visit. while. Nice to finally meet you. My kids yeah, I don't, I don't stream a ton, but it's usually fun when I do. Don't know. All right. And we're happy to be helped. Making she sure asks us to, I want to steal, steal the idol of Sylvanas that the druids are the using to fuel their spell. Sure. When we sell it in which anything is else? something that can uh, stoke the tensions, to say the least. We'll sell all of our junk to her that we've been picking up, though. Anything else? Is it better than my dog barking? Uh, is it better than Das Two or Wrath of the Righteous? In my us. opinion, um, come back anytime. I haven't decided yet. Uh, both of them, like both of those games, use very different systems, so I think it's more a matter of preference than anything else. It's gonna be a highly subjective thing. Like I just mentioned, I'm not wild about uh, Fifth Edition D and D specifically. Eager for battle. As an example. Jump over here and grab this chest. Alright. What now? Can't slow down. And off we go. Dallas says they should have done something good with Goodberry. Yeah, that's fair. I don't think the Goodberry spell is uh, super useful in Baldur's Gate 3. Alright. Grab a potion, see how everybody's doing. Um, I applaud your taste. We will recover our second level spell slot with Gale. I don't remember using all of hers, but apparently we did. All right, and then we're going to go grab that amulet that I forgot back in the chapel before heading on out to other places. Never wanted the easy path. What origin character would I prefer to play? Um, the first one I'm probably going to play for myself is likely to be Will. I have a, not exactly, it'll probably be more of a paladin, but mixed with a uh, warlock, which I think he's going to fit nicely yeah. into, so... He's the one I'm excited to play for that reason. They pursued the Nautiloids. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain the mission. arrow snatching gloves, yeah. The, the there's a vendor a up here that will sell queen. gloves that of missile snaring that reduce the damage from arrows. What is the Jack of All Trades run? It is getting a character with one level in every class without respecking or anything. Jack of All Trades is the name of the achievement you get for it.
Okay. Forgot to hit loot. <laughs> Okay, off we go now to do other things. There's a door right here that leads under the Druid's Grove, which is a good way to get Saza out of the camp if you rescue that goblin. But theft would be paid for painfully, a thousand times over. Hmm, good to know. Hmm. And then there's a little Harper stash up here. So like up here is where I usually run into Raphael, which I feel like is just a point where they force him to spawn in. Cause I usually come up here to loot this stuff. Then Poole says my slight problem with Pathfinder is all the pre-buffing. Yeah, that's a really common complaint you'll get. Which, I mean, that's fair to be honest with you. It is. It is a lot, and that's one of the things that make fi that makes 5e uh, more accessible. Is just that has a half a sigil. it has a lot of stuff that's more uh, reactive than proactive. At the back of the crevice lies Once a bag. Patterson donated 49 uh, pounds, uh, uh, pounds or euros. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, but the big guy himself, Mr. 100, loves the videos. Stay frosty. Uh, no, I appreciate it, man. That's incredibly generous of you. All right. Pass the check, see if we can find some loot in this spider hole, which I would not be sticking my hand into personally, but, you know, whatever. We'll roll it again since we got max inspiration right now. The creature says pounds. The yeah, yeah, somebody else earlier mentioned the same no thing. Doubt. A spider egg is okay, nestled so within. Okay, so we can snatch the bag that we discovered in here if we can pass the check. You can only have four inspiration points at once, so it's important scatter, to spend them every once in a while. The bag. That gives us some gold and this spider egg to throw at people. Eduardo says, yeah, I love that they... Yeah, uh... Ugh keeps you from hoarding inspiration and that is correct I, I again i'm a big fan of the inspiration system in this game it's pretty much the exact um idea in tabletop with just a minor tweak or two haven says has a question but then there is no question to follow Race has Final Fantasy 16 was an amazing game. Um, I've I've heard it's pretty good. I haven't actually played it yet. I'll play it when it comes to PC. All right, we'll circle around and then run into those people up here. Ouch, I was like, I know there's something to loot over here. Anset says, "Dude, love your work. I appreciate it." Jay Green says, "How are you organizing your inventory?" Um. Your sour face Painstakingly. <laughs> so I keep like the bag within a bag stuff up here. Then it's revive scrolls, gold, potions near the top. Everything that I'm probably going to use and don't want to sell up here. Potions and stuff down here. Stuff that is has a use and I'm not going to get rid of it. Loot's like in this general section. So it's it's a weird little system I've made up in my head. People up ahead. All right, save before this happens. And talk to these guys who are some true souls. Once F asks if I will You're tackle Starfield, soul. I will. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you? You. No. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. Yeah, inventory in general seems to be a bit of a problem with CRPGs. That's something none of them really managed to nail, I would say. Uh, Eduardo asks if we're going to be using the parasites. Almost certainly. Okay, so. We can ask what Shut happened up. to their friend. The These are eyes with you. members of the, the Absolute Cult, which would likely be the first time you're running in into them. You slept. Do you have orders for us? We were so basically, these are... 
people who also have a parasite in their head, but they are being controlled. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that... However, you can send them to go fight the Owlbear, which is really fun. Absolute. Uh, is this a tactician run? No, we're on balanced uh, because we are doing the uh, one level in every class run. Trying to do tactician would be painful, I imagine. Then we can pull another parasite out of that guy. Can't do anything with them yet, though, so kind of just hoarding them. And we can get a bunch of camp supplies before running down this way. Kai says, gotta go, but enjoy the stream. Have a good time, man. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Do I also stream on Twitch? No, I don't really mess with uh, anything besides YouTube, honestly. Tell me, Lazo. I think there are a lot of valid criticisms to what YouTube what does, does and how it approaches exactly? things, Augusto but it's by far the most the stable purifier. platform. To our heads. Its magic will quell the parasite in an instant. Casually bad says, just wanted to say I love your videos, but can't watch because I'm playing BG3. Yeah, fair enough. I am also playing BG3, wouldn't you know? Uh, and set does says does BG3 knock Pathfinder off my favorite game title? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I haven't decided yet. Um, once I get completely done with it, I'll probably have something talking about that a little more uh, in depth. Have I done a playthrough without illicit powers? Yeah. So my first playthrough was like uh, a, a good run where I was trying to be like the the best person possible, so to speak. And in that particular playthrough, I did not uh, use any powers. It can affect the ending, but I don't want to say how. As I've already made a video kind of discussing that anyway. Care to tell me a bit more? Okay, so now we can talk to Scratch, which is a little bit easier if we use our potion of animal speaking. I told you to go. And then if we pass a check, we can get him to join our camp once he realizes his master is dead. Mm. Which is a real is bummer for everybody. You should go. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. No, I won't leave him. If it comes... And he'll get there on his own time. All right, and then we're going to go to the Owlbear Cave. Citizen says, as a fan of the series, any thoughts on no real time with pause? So... Here's the thing. I've played so many CRPGs. I've played real-time with pause, turn-based, and after a point, I kind of just stopped caring about it. Like, I, I know it's a really big deal to some people, but I will do either or. It does not matter to me at all. All right. Send them in. Now... It's possible, albeit difficult, to like sneak up this way and then drop that stalagmite or whatever the other one is on the owl bear. But I found an easier way to do it is usually to convince these two to help you. That stench. Dead owl bear prey, no doubt. Eduardo says, do those have two have parasites? Yeah, both of these two have parasites. They are also that way. Yeah, so if you have a really good stealth, you can sneak up here and deal with the owl bear. But these two are usually enough. The beast's ahead. We need to get closer. Yeah, there's a, there's a few different ways to talk your way out of the uh, the owl bear. The Normally, I just glows, fight the thing though. Power courses through you. Authority. You're right. Ah, of course, <laughs> 
One of those two is a cleric, and they will use the. Sometimes the only way out is through. Command Hulk on it, I believe, which just about cripples this thing, makes the fight a lot easier. What fools these mortals be! Would I recommend Dark Urge for a first playthrough? That's what I did for my first playthrough, and I enjoyed it a lot, but it does tend to push you towards the worst outcomes. So if you plan on going like full into the uh, Dark Urge style of play, that is to say doing the things, um, I'd maybe hold off. It helps if you know what you're getting into. Jose says I just started using that die skin and it has not been kind to me. That's fair. But I just, uh, it, we got off to a rough start here. Ray says had a cool time chilling, but I gotta go. Have a good one, man. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Would I consider doing a guide or video on some sort of how I 100% this game so quick? Um, like, so I've, I've made a bunch of videos about that, about like my general approach, that thing. Um, like those, those videos exist. Hungry. You watched. That we've just. What is truth says and why kill that owl there? Um, that sweet, sweet XP. Also, that. I think we need, yeah, I think the other half is on Eduardo that I forgot to pick up. Um, that spear that he just dropped, we can do something Get cool with some it. Rest. I need to keep sharp. But that'll fit in my pack. Pick up the owlbear egg for later. An owlbear egg? These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Talk to these two real quick. We sp what now? Thank you. We can send them on their way. When I say worse for the Dark Urge, I mean like choices. Uh, no, so uh, a lot of what the Dark Urge urges you to do will lead you to the worst possible oh, outcomes there. for the scenario that you're in. Hatched. No point in taking these. So like the, the thing, the voice in your head is like, oh, do this or kill this specific person will usually lead to like, <laughs> that's the worst thing you could have done in this situation in terms of general outcome. <laughs> What is the owlbear egg for? Uh, you can use it in a quest later. Statue. Replace our potion of animal speaking, Obviously. grab some healing, pick up a scroll of detect thoughts, and go back here. Or hopefully someone will pass the perception check. That might be worth a look. Just an old prayer. I'm ready. And someone who's not Shadowheart has to pass the religion check. An ancient prayer. Wonder if Saluna was listening. A prayer yeah. and a symbol. Hidden for a reason, perhaps. And we can read it in front of this, which will unseal that chest. Simple magic. Which would have done massive it, damage to us otherwise. Shadowheart hates this though because it's a saloon thing and she worships Shar. Do not trifle with but that you can witch. pass or a check it. to make her fine with it. Will follow. A spaceship who's been a member for 14 months says, "Wow, didn't expect to catch you live streaming." Yeah, that's fair. I don't live stream a lot, but I thought this would be fun. So fine. here we are. <laughs> Perhaps you can sell them for a couple of coins. Uh, will I join the wilderness guards? No, no, can't say I have any uh, plan to do so. <laughs> All right, so we can pick up some loot here. I actually really like this uh, moon drop pin, the uh, moon drop pendant. It is a great drop for the early game. And then if you read this right, you'll get some foreshadowing about Shadowheart and her quest. Okay, that's 
don't think that's useful for anybody. Uh, we can give that to Shadow Heart. That is slightly better for her at the moment. At least things have stayed interesting. Moon drop pendant. Uh, we'll give that to Lazelle, actually. She's the one most likely to be moving around. Uh, how am I liking Baldur's Gate 3? Uh, I think it's safe to say I like it a good bit. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Spaceship says I'm only on the Act 2 of my first playthrough, and it is a big game. It certainly can be. That is for sure. Okay. Off we go. What path lies before me? What class would I recommend thematically for the Dark Urge? Um, thematically, I think Warlock is a lot of fun. Just because it adds to the several voices in your head. So I think that's interesting. I think there's a lot to be said for a Oathsworn Paladin, like an Oath of Devotion or something, who's like actively trying to fight the urges in their head to be a bad person. I think you can roleplay a lot with that. Um, but I also Everything think Barbarian's a really good one, because they're like Battle Rage, I think, kind of feeds into the concept of a Dark Urge really well. Uh, figure says Assassin. Yeah, that would also work pretty well. Okay, so the Shaft of a Broken Spear and the Head of a Broken Spear that we can get off of that Owlbear, you can combine them together to get Vision of the Absolute. Which is kind of cool. Not that I actually need that for anybody, really. No I think... Yeah, technically it's an upgrade for Shadowheart, so she'll use it. Also, it looks super cool. I'll go this way. Hey, Mortem, love your channel. Have you tested BG3 on Steam Deck? I haven't really played it on Steam Deck. I've seen some people playing it on Steam Deck, and they said... It works pretty well, and it is officially verified, last I heard, but um, I have not tested it personally, no. Move all this stuff on the... you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it. I think you... If there's one quality... So, remember... Sometimes I accidentally click on the companions when I'm trying to do other things. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Brown Brass says, hope you and the family are doing well. That's very kind of you. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're we're doing great. I really can't complain. The last couple of months have been very kind to me with the launch of this game. These are all the dead adventurers that uh, Aridin, the guy we saved at the Druid Groves Gate, told us about. Uh, he said like half of his troop got killed. This is them. What did you mean, Paul Gale? A woman with shadows for eyes, you said. Merely okay. that if the eyes are the mirror to the soul, yours have dark curtains across the mirror. Goblins ahead. No offense taken. Looks like they're laying an ambush. Do I set up my keypad for games like BG3? Uh, it's not really necessary. I mean, if you play with a mouse and keyboard, you're pretty much good to go. Um... If I need to, I'll rebind a hotkey or something, but it's not super necessary. Okay, we should be able to talk our way out of this fight. Not that it's difficult, but, you know, Get over easier. There. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't weak it or you turn. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Nice. Is this a speed run? Not intentionally, but probably to a degree, sure. I'm not, like, trying to get the fastest Suppose time possible, but um, I've already played through the story multiple times, so unless it's new to me, I'm not really stopping to see it as we are after a specific achievement. But other than that, no, not particularly. Scratchboard says, wow, I just thought you were a disembodied voice. Sometimes I also think that. We're going to go around and loot. Weapon blueprints. Master Pretty easy to kill this bugbear because he's sleeping if you want. Not too refined here. Just quick ideas sketched out. Oh. 
What a terrible sneak attack roll. Victory awaits. Well, this is not off to a good start. Much for peace. Since everybody else apparently can't do any damage to a sleeping target. I guess Gale had to take care of it. Uh, the unbelievable beaver says, how did you manage to finish the game in 50 hours? Um, I mean, this is all I do, man. I play this genre of games almost all day, every day. So, is what it is. Pizza says, time to go to the shed. Uh, I'd rather not. I enjoy being monetized, actually. And I don't know if turning all of the other stuff off, which I did before stream, of course, helps with that particular scene. It looks healthy. Dead boar. Exsanguinated boar. Touched by scavengers. The carcass looking. Which is left over from Astarian. R says I'm 40 hours still in Act 2. Yeah, fair enough. Like, it's a big game, and I, like, I'm not, like, especially if you don't play a lot of these types of games, yeah, it's going to take you a while, especially if you explore and see everything on your first time through. But, I mean, again, you play enough of these, you kind of just know how it works, so I don't have to spend a lot of time reloading Oka. fights or anything, that kind of thing. Notice a but if we pass this dagger, check, we can pull a dagger out of this, which we'll probably leaves. just sell because it's just a plus one dagger. Does combat revolve slowly around uh, dice rolls and initiative checks? Um, I mean, not entirely, but it's a good portion of it, sure. Your cautious method. Alex says, I played with nudity off and they were both dressed in the shed. Well, I'm not so much worried about whether or not they're dressed. It's just that if you go in there, they're kind of in the middle of something that I'm curious if it uh, censored. But yeah, sure, why not? I guess we'll all find out together. <laughs> People have been incredibly generous with their donations. So even if we get demonetized, who, who cares at this point? We'll see. Yeah, yeah, there it is. See? <laughs> Dressed, but still doing the thing. What the hell are you doing? She hits like a truck is the main issue with doing this. Get the bugbear's not so bad. Will there be a replay of this on the channel? Yeah, there should be. It should be a, uh, a VOD right after. I probably should have at least done a short rest before Taste I did this. Fury. Not miss. No blue. Oh, okay. It's gonna be rough. And says my bard was able to avoid this fight. Yeah, bard has a lot of uh, fun little interactions they get. How long have I been playing live? Uh, Two-ish hours? Not sure exactly, but kind of in there somewhere. Even with this advantage, I still have an 81% chance to shoot her in the face with an arrow. <laughs> and that's why we went dexterity. Probably gonna have to long rest again after this. I'm just gonna get completely wasted on resources here. Got blinded, that's super helpful. This should be it. Kill on a bugbear and an ogre. 
Okay. Let's just put this behind us. Loot everything. Uh, behind us. Netwatch says, cool to see you interacting with everyone. Enjoy the reviews. I appreciate it. It's uh, it's hard to stream with how much, like, everything else I do, which is why I don't do a ton of it, but it is a lot of fun when I do. Uh, Ice11084 became a officer, which is, like, the second tier of membership, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. Anything of use? With haste. You seemed quite forward with okay. your compliments earlier. We We're going to go ahead and do a long rest to get our spell slots back. Oh, whoops, I just hit the... I just hit the go to camp button instead of rest. Oh. Is it worth playing the game now or wait a few patches or expansions? I, I, It's more than good to go now. Uh, the, some of the late game is a little buggy, but, I mean, realistically, it's going to take you a while to get there um, if you do it all. No offense, but most people don't. So, realistically, I think if you want to play now, there's nothing to wait for. Henrik says, like your vids and reviews. I appreciate it. Glad you get. enjoy them. I shall be here in the here there are many withers. are correct. No. Should thou or any of that, because it is He can respect us if we wanted to, but of course we don't want to do that. Halfway to level four, though. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe. Shit. There the Starian the trying to bite you us. See him for what? A strange scent. We oh. won't kill him, but obviously we're not I going to let him to do that. Me. I only need a taste. See you in the morning. You watch him. <laughs> well, of course I can't summon. Oh no. As for my he explains how he stands in the sun and everything, because the tadpole and everybody else is like, yeah, I guess we could use a vampire, sure. Not inaccurate. There is Scratch. The cool dude also became an officer. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Vex says, nice to see you streaming. Yeah, it's nice to be streaming every once in a while. I probably let it go a little too long, but to be fair, we do get to pet this dog together, so that's nice. Does he get a bite attack? Um, so it's possible to get a summoned familiar spell that uh, pulls Scratch out into the, the regular world. And truth be told, I've never tried to like use him in combat, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. So got our dagger. All right, back to exploring. Is an evil playthrough any good in this game? Yeah, very much so. I really enjoyed the evil playthrough. Things played out significantly different outside of like the core plot points, and it was a lot of fun. Okay, now we're gonna explore this town, loot everything we can. We can start a quest by reading this journal. Always room for more? Grab the keys. Loot the boxes. See if there's anything interesting in them. Mostly it's just booze, though, which was handy. There's an achievement for resting using only booze as the camp supplies, which I thought was funny. And the hardest part of that achievement in the early game is to get the booze. In the late game, once you get to the city, there's a bunch of places you can just buy it. It's pretty easy then. There's usually a lot of thieves' tools in this basement. Everybody check. Stay vigilant. So we can disarm that the trap. Oh, Something the matter. Sometimes the pathing isn't the best, but that's pretty standard. Uh, Carl joined as a supporter. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Abu Janti says, "Are my am I revisiting my favorite CRPGs of all time after this one? Uh, I, I plan to, yeah. I'm probably going to have something talking about that after. Um, a lot of people have asked, surprisingly so, but yeah, I'll do something. All right. This is part of that quest. We read this. Tells us how we can forge a magic item using this forge over here. 
There's only one place I'm finding a Sousa tree. The Underdark. You can find so many thieves tools in this basement. I don't know if they just have like an increased drop chance or something down here, but there's always tons of them. And you can also break down that wall, but we don't want to go over there just yet. I'll give it a shot. Then we will make our way over to the alchemist's house. Grab the waypoint, of course. Something good here, I hope. Nothing. There are a bunch of potions to be found in here, as one would expect. Antidotes, potion of healing, sleep. If you're trying to mess around with the alchemy, there's also a fair few ingredients in here for that. Uh, Scholar says the loot in the boxes is random. I don't know how random it is, but some of it is guaranteed and some of it changes. Um, like, some items are set. Like, this is what you find in this. But I have noticed after playing through it a few times that some of them change. Garbage. But certain items are also always there. So I don't know exactly how they're, like, rolling it, but um, to some degree, yes. Okay, drop into the basement of this place. Healing potions. Internet Andy says the bottle racks are always empty. Yeah, usually, like more often than not. Every once in a while I'll find like empty bottles on them, but that's about it. There's a potion recipe, and then we can hit this lever to open the secret part of this basement. Which is important, but I'll explain momentarily once we get there. Oak Lord says, love your channel, but gotta go. Please keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, so these coffins have undead that can pop up at you if things don't go well. But this one has this scroll of summon closet, which we can use to summon shovel. You wreck. Wait, you're not Illy. So Who was serving the master. alchemist or the healer here? Illy calls, don't care. It would help so, him do grunt master. work. When he wasn't horny, because but... what he actually was was a necromancer. And in all of these coffins are skeletons that, if you fail this check right here, will rise from the ground to fight you. You can also just open them up and fight them, to be clear, though. Uh, Swanky says it's going to be a walkthrough or a stream here and there. Well, I'm going after one achievement in particular with this playthrough, so realistically, it will be at least until I get that achievement. Um, I don't necessarily know that we'll do everything, but we're definitely going to go through and get that achievement at least. Okay. Ugh. So if you fail these checks, it uh, activates like a defensive mechanism. The magic is off the face. That is very it's annoying to deal man. with. <laughs> Jack human man. I do if you are known to my master. But we can pass an intimidation check, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. That will just force it to open. There is a pause. So realistically, you do get a lot of experience for fighting all those guys. They just don't drop anything good anyway. And we can come over here and open our way back. Grab a bunch more stuff. 
What is truth as achievement or bust? Yeah, that's the gist. All right, we'll give all of that to Gail. What's my favorite game of all time? Um, currently Wrath of the Righteous, but we'll see how Baldur's Gate 3 hands out first. All right. Um, Bracers of Defense is really handy for uh, Gale because it gives extra armor class when you're not wearing armor, and he is, in fact, not. I've got a long road ahead. At the ready. Step okay. Carefully. Now we have to a pass a bunch of trap checks. We've only got one trap this arm gets, so hopefully we don't fail them. Rim says, great content as always. Have to go, though. Keep up the great work. I appreciate it. We'll probably only be on here for like another hour or so today, so don't worry about it too much. All right, so this brings us be to wary. the necromancy of the day book. But if we take it off its pedestal, we activate those traps, so hopefully we can disarm this one, too. Now we've got the Necromancy of the book. Is locked. You try a which we can't do anything with right now, but this is going to be very useful for later. In my review, I mentioned that uh, I found an ability that lets you summon like six ghouls at once that all have this like paralyzing effect, which is crazy strong. And that book is how you get it, or at least part of it. Monkey Puzzle says, love seeing you live. I appreciate it. Figure says you can mage hand the book past the door. Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff like that. Um, one of the things I really enjoy about this game is that uh, your how you choose to approach things can add so much to it. All right, that's pretty much everything for this basement. over here and talk to the ogres around the bin and then do one other encounter oh death by <laughs> sexy uh donated five dollars said love your content congrats on all the success and being able to spend more time with uh, my son i assume um i appreciate it um it is easily the best part of getting to do this for a living is um you know, just not having to go to work and being able to spend that time with my son save before we talk to the ogres because sometimes I fail this check and fighting these guys sucks. Like uh, people Gentlemen, saying this game looks like Divinity. Well, I yourself. mean, yeah, they're made in the same engine. This That'll man. happen. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark wow, is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. to pass another check to get him to fight for you, but this one is much, much harder. Depending on what you say, because you can't just pay the guy. Serenade to my Use it. Well spoken. And then we will... But he will give us a horn to summon him, and we will pass that to Shadowheart for right now, and we might just wind up using that at some point. No time to rest. Wonder if the gods are watching. It's only really available in Act One, by the way. If you keep that and try to use it later, it doesn't work. Uh, Harp Guitar donated ten dollars. Said, "Love your channel so much. You have the best RPG coverage. Thank you for everything you do. I appreciate it. That's incredibly kind of you to say. I certainly try my best." Truth to case is when are you going to start speed running? Um, so <laughs> I take like this weird hybrid approach. Like I don't uh. The only game I've legitimately speedrunned was Original Sin 1. Um, I think I talked about that in a video at one point. Um, I can, well, I mean, probably not right now, but uh, when I had some practice, there was a time I could beat Original Sin 1 in about 40 minutes, give or take, which you can do with some just cheesy nonsense. 
and exploiting one particular bug. And, like, stuff like that's fun. But, like, in general, I don't really enjoy speedrunning everything. Okay, we got one more thing to do in the village up here at the windmill, which can play out a few different ways, all of which are pretty funny. If you kill those goblins over there, you'll get the oh, key yeah, for this I chest, but we have an insane amount of lock picking potential, so no need. Can you do the super heavy chest exploit in Baldur's Gate 3? Um, not exactly, but you can gather up uh, uh, pretty much all the oil barrels and stuff that you'll find and then use those by sending them to your camp uh, from your inventory and then like holding on to them until you pile them up in front of a boss or something before using them which can be super funny okay so i usually give this to lazel because momentum gives us a what in the world Hold on, guys. UI just freaked out on me. Uh, momentum gives you extra movement speed. That's why I usually give that to her. Internet says I did that against some of the goblin bosses. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's pretty funny when you, when you can set it up. It's, uh, it's a little more setup than I care for, to be honest with you. But... It is very funny to watch. Okay, now this check. Um, this can play out a few different ways. They've tied a gnome to the window there. And the funniest thing, in my opinion, to do is pay these guys to ignore you and then go back to the windmill. And you can actually speed it up and the gnome will go flying off into the distance, which is really funny. Cause it makes me laugh. However, we As can just pass the check to get this done. Power easy peasy. Through you. Authority. Will it? What? Fans Come over. on, blah, blah. Ah. Let's find you something to eat. All right then. <laughs> Fresh. Ah, what? Oh man, they uh turned hostile on me randomly. There, that was strange. <sighs> Ah, well. I think I moved in a little too quick. This is going to be a fantastic cloud of daggers. Oh, we still have shovel with us. <laughs> Uh, Richard says, I beat the game twice but never found Minsk. Um, he is involved in a quest with Jahira. Uh, it can actually be a little hard to trigger sometimes. And even then, you gotta actually complete it correctly, too. Uh, it's it's a pain to recruit Minsk, actually. And he comes into play so late in the game, it's uh, it's actually real. I, I don't care for how they implemented that. I was hoping he would step into the cloud of daggers. That's great. Uh, Bratton says, great job. I watch every video. I appreciate it. Thank you. The most likely to kill this guy. There we go. Give us Dark One's blessing. Normally, Fezzerk, uh, like, surrenders once you get him low enough. But I think we killed him too quick for that to happen. Call says, awesome, we cover tactical RPGs. Oops. Uh, yeah, I, I love a good CRPG, man. Um, sometimes it's nice to just focus on the combat of games like this. Good 
angry. Keep missing easy hits. Uh, which act is my favorite? Um, this one. Uh, the first part of the game, as with most games, tends to just be incredibly polished. So that's the same case here. I really enjoyed the last one with the city, but um, it, it could just use some some polishing and things before it is. And if they get around to doing that, that then that one will probably be my favorite. But as it stands, it's definitely this one. Uh, what's the process like for getting review copies? Um, so it, it depends on the game, the publisher, the PR company they're using to distribute copies. There's a lot of variables there. Um, the most common, I would say, is that uh, either a PR company working for the developer or the publisher will contact you directly, uh, you know, provided you have a platform they want to engage with, or... As an alternative, sometimes you can sign up directly and make a formal request. Like they'll have like a, a sign up sheet, be like, you know, here's my information, here's the platform I have. They'll usually ask for like uh, what your subscriber count is, stuff Whatever like that. And no then those are, I would say, the two main methods. Sometimes for smaller developers, they'll reach out to you directly, but. That doesn't happen a ton. Alright, we'll give that very heavy great axe to Lazel. Does a little more damage than her thing at the moment. Goldie says if I were to buy a computer to play this game, how much would that cost? Um I don't know, man. I'm not up to date on PC prices right now. I, I, I hate to sound Shut a little, uh, we, we should keep moving. annoying, I guess, but my PC is so strong that I don't really think about that stuff anymore, so I don't, like, mark, like, check out the, uh, PC specs for every game these days. Biker says, is this a custom character or origin? This is custom. Okay, great. So these arrow types are the main reason we went dex and bow. So we can use those with our bow to try to push some damage through. Okay, now let's go save this poor goblin, or uh, gnome rather. Almost called him a goblin. If you hit this button, which is the release break lever, he'll go flying over this way and die. Han says, I didn't know you had a face. I do indeed have a face. Last I checked, anyway. I like these for the athletics check and the fact that we don't really have anything else going on, but uh, they're not great boots otherwise. Um, the lightning charges thing is on a bunch of early game equipment, but it can be hard to use those because a lot of them require to use uh, you to use actions and stuff to build up to the effect, and it's like I would rather just hit something with them. All right, we'll let this poor guy down. He'll tell us about some of the gnomes in the Underdark having problems. Cut me loose! If you, uh, if you wind up getting him killed, you can just find a note on his body about it. Well, you saved me. Take my... On that note... And there's some XP. All right, last but not least, we're gonna circle the outskirts of town here before going south a little bit. We might head up to Joaquin's Rest first. I like to try to be level four before I hit the swamp. And she says, sup, love this game. I, too, love this game. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Something over there. 
If we had all failed that check, I was gonna show people how you can just use the shovel to dig. Suli says, have I tried this on the Steam Deck yet? Um, not personally, no. Boris says, please make more 20 minute plus videos. Um, you know, believe it or not, I don't really think too much about the duration of the videos when I make them. It's just kind of like however long it happens to need to be. I don't really shoot for any particular time. That's why they tend to be all over the place. Do I prefer DOS 2 or BG3? Uh, I like both for different reasons. I think they both have their own merits. Pizza Man says going to be our uh, game of the year is going to be tough this year. I think so. Um, I will say, though, that I am pleasantly surprised the CRPG has a genuine shot at game of the year. I like just just the thought that it's possible is kind of mind blowing to me. Because like prior to this game, like it was just like a CRPG is never going to win this. So it's cool that there's even an option. Uh, where do you get the shovel? You can pick one up right towards the start of the game after the tutorial when you're walking up towards the Druid Grove. There will be one sticking out of the ground next to a dirt mound. Is my game in X2 speed? No. Nope. Can't say it is. Right, we're going to have the conversation with Auntie Ethel and these two, and then we're going to head up towards uh, Joaquin's Rest for some easy experience to try to hit level four. Do I play with the companions, and are they are, uh, the non-origin companions? Um, I wouldn't say they're as developed, but they are pretty good. So you can't get any of the non-origin companions until Act 2, which means they have less screen time just by default. So just kind of because of that, they're not as developed, but a lot of them do have really good stories. Minthara's is really good. Like, surprisingly good. And the fact that they locked her behind an evil Enough. playthrough is genuinely surprising to me. Bye -bye now. And that's where you can kind of find out Auntie Ethel she isn't as nice as she appears if you hadn't picked up on that yet. Okay, so we got a little XP for that conversation, and then... We won't go into the swamp just yet. Uh, there's some fights there I don't want to deal with until we hit level four. So we're going to head up towards Joaquin's Rest. Uh, what classes have I taken for? Uh, so I've taken so far Fighter, Rogue, and Warlock. Fighter and Rogue were very much so planned. Um, everything else after that's kind of playing it by ear. Uh, if someone's only going to do one playthrough of this game, should they do Dark Urge or not? Um, if you are only going to do one playthrough, yes, I think you should play the Dark Urge. I don't know that I would recommend it for a first playthrough just in general, but if it's going to be your only playthrough, yes, it should be the Dark Urge. All right, ah, now we can give Gale a magic item. Magic this is what we've been quiet. hanging on to those useless so items with the uh, cantrips and stuff we just need. don't need. A metaphorical demon. I hate to... Sincerely, though. My... Easy peasy. There's an easy fight against Knowles up here. I say that and then watch me get like wiped. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. 
East, you hear okay, so for those who don't know, Knowles uh, gestate their young in other the things. Of dying hyenas. You land us as the life fades from her eyes, the gnome. Okay. You have a couple of turns to kill these guys before they turn into gnolls. I swore he had fly. Oh no, that's uh, I was thinking of the imps. That's a closet. Have I done research for a jack of all trades run? Uh, a little bit. Um, I've played through the game a couple times. I know what to expect. But we shall see how it all pans out. <laughs> Pyrella says, I feel like there was better ways to mercy kill that hyena. I mean, yeah, probably, but you know, then it wouldn't be a video game. No, would <laughs> All right. We're going to finish that one off, or at least try to. Oh, come on. Tempest I will raise. Onward. We got one more turn to kill that one. All right, that hyena is running to get those guys, which it did. That's all right, though. It's another step forward. You get the achievement if you don't respec only. Yeah, you can't respec for the achievement. It specifically says uh, not to. Order Man says, how's the run going? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, a <laughs> bit of a rocky start with two natural ones back to back, but otherwise. On the move. up here. Hopefully they will run into when they try to uh, yeah, like that. Oh, George donated. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that currency, but says thanks for everything you've done for RPG lovers. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, honestly, the pleasure's all mine. Getting to talk about this stuff and do it for a living is a dream come true for me. So if anything, thank you guys. Am I playing with the karmic dice off? Uh, I believe it's on by default when you start a new playthrough, and I haven't messed with it, so it should be on. Do I know what companions I'm going to use throughout the playthrough? Probably the ones I've got right now. Not to say that it might not change, but as of right now. Out of daggers just does so much like it like it wouldn't be as effective in a normal situation but the way their ai set up like every single one of them just runs right through that stuff no shove in the cloud ah, i'm not too worried about shove this is already going super smoothly do i take the stat booster items like uh all of that stuff into consideration when i'm uh planning the run uh not a ton i don't like to rely too much on items in general, like, because there's there's a lot of ways you can work around that stuff. Like, if we wind up getting them and they're helpful, sure, but I don't think it's necessary to plan everything around them by any means. Torment. 
There's level four. Get up there, though. Still missed. <laughs> Can you be level six before act two? Around. Yeah. I can smell spill a lot of mile away. The, the like the close I've been like just shy of level seven before act two to the point of where like stepping into oh, act two going. made me level seven. It slows down a lot at that point What's though. Does Act 2 begin after celebrating with the refugees? Uh, just about. Act 2 technically starts when you step into the Shadow Cursed Lands, but um, once you deal with the main conflict for this area and have the party at your camp, that is essentially the end of the major quests in Act 1, yeah. Not to say you can't do more stuff, but... This starts a quest... Willis says would love to watch, but don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, fair enough. Are there any disadvantages to long resting frequent, uh, frequently? Not really. There are like some minor ones here and there, but it's not a big deal. There are a few quests where, like, if you've gotten to a certain stage and then long rest, uh, you get a sort of default outcome where you just weren't involved. But that's about the the limit. Okay, save before we level up, just in case. All right, now what do we do for level four? He's ready. <laughs> Doing that little shadow boxing thing. Um. I kind of want to go Ranger, just for fun. Uh, Matthias says, why save before level up? In case the game crashes. It was uh, it crashed on me earlier when I was trying to level up, and uh, it's probably because I'm streaming specifically, but just in case, basically. I really want to go Ranger, so I think I'm going to do it. I think we're going to grab Keeper of the Veil. Just for fun. Then again, we could do something like Ranger Knight. But I think we already have that stuff. Yeah, I think we're just going to do Keeper of the Veil. And then for our explorer part, we're already proficient with that. I, we're going to go Beast Tamer for the Find Familiar, just because I think that'll be a little bit useful. <laughs> All right, and then for that, we can only pick Perception because we already got the other one, so cool. I don't know. Maybe that'll be good. Maybe it won't. <laughs> But 
being able to pull a familiar is nice. And I'm thinking Raven just for the board. Oh, Egon says, nice to finally see your face. I appreciate it. Um, always happy to hear Still people are enjoying there. things. Despite everything. All right. For Shadowheart, we're finally going to continue taking cleric levels. I never looked at her spells. I forgot to do it. We don't need Cure Wounds. Um, we don't really need a lot of this, but we'll grab uh, Bless, I think, just in case. Ready for you. All right, cantrip doesn't matter too much. Um, I like shocking grasp because we're about to pick up our feet, and I want to grab warcaster because I like it. And for spells, we'll grab scorching ray now and. We'll grab darkness. Not that I'm planning on using it a ton, but still. Pick up Scorching Ray. Beat. Uh, I like to grab a Warcaster for them, because you can uh, you can cast Shocking Grasp as a reaction instead of an attack of opportunity. And it gives you advantage on concentration saving throws. It's just uh, something I like doing. Uh, what level would I recommend before ending Act 1? Um... At a bare minimum, level five, Old six, five. ideally. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. The game will actually tell you if it thinks you're too low, though. By the way, um, if you if you go like if you beeline it to where you could go to the next act, it'll actually be like, hey, you're way too low level to be doing this. Which may or may not matter to you, but it will try to warn you. All right, last but not least, Blazo. He's only going to get a feat, and we are going to grab one strength and one dexterity just to even it out. Or no, constitution, sorry. Just to even those out and get our bonuses. Give up now. Oh. Nice. The ranger is going to let us cast that, and it's going to last until long rest without using a spell slot, which is nice. And hilariously, I don't think I have. Anything else I can cast with those spell slots. All right. That should do it there. And then we're going to grab this. Waypoint up here for Joaquin's rest, which is, I'm way far away from went exactly the wrong direction. Waypoint for this is like really just kind of hidden Smoke. around there. Something's burning. Okay, so now we can help the Flaming Fist with their attack that they suffered. I heard shouting. God, Someone needs help. We're gonna want Lazel for this because it's a strength check. Can you go back to this area after starting Act Two? Yeah, yeah. You can. You can. Uh, Freely travel the Act 1 areas until you finish Act 2. And then after that, you're confined to the city. I oh, mean. <laughs> Used my strength character and still failed. How embarrassing. Damn. 
There must be another way in. All right. There we go. What now? Don't know why we couldn't have done that to begin with, but. This is a lot easier if you only have one person with you, which actually, you're going to take Lazel. It's hard to maneuver an entire party through this burning building without taking a bunch of damage. Okay, then we can do another quest by breaking this down, but we get thrown back like that. But hey, that's what... Second wind is four. How do I find FPS games? Uh, depends on the game. Some of them are fine. Um, stuff like uh, Call of Duty, that kind of thing, are definitely not for me. <laughs> no, it says I hate that burning building. Yeah, it can be pretty annoying. The fire! Hurry! Get this thing go. off me! If we save this guy, we get another. Uh, West out of it. <coughs> can check this. Rescue the counselor, and we can leave. Come. Purple says I'm Hortismal Stream and I'm awake for it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, they are few and far between, to say the very least. Your count now on the rest and may okay. I trust she asked us to find through. Counselor R or, uh, Grand Duke Ravenguard because he is missing him. and was kidnapped as part of this attack after he had just been on his way back from Elturel, which, uh, thanks to the events of Descent into Avernus, did not go well. So, I will... This? But we also get a really great bow for this, which is what we're going to take, but we get some cool items for managing to save her. Onward. Put our party back oh, together here. Everyone. Mary! Mary! And we will use the bow we just got to replace the one we've been using, which is a little bit better for us. Small scissors door you can break down. Yeah, there's a there's a few different ways inside. You can you can come up this side, and then you can actually also come up this side. There's a way for a druid to get into, I believe, around the corner over here, if my memory serves. There's a bunch of different ways in and out of that place. Okay, so Waste us now we're going to talk to him. He's going to ask us to find his Thank wife, which is word. dead in one of the buildings. Mitty? Mitty? Can you put uh, water and ray of frost uh, to put the fire out? Temporarily. It will slow it down, but it will come My back. Have you seen her? Mitty. There's a DOS too. Yeah, so one of the portraits you can find is the Red Prince. That one right there. I showed people Fane earlier. Losa is in the Druid Grove. And I haven't found the other three yet. All right, here's Mirrorless. Green glow. Which we just have to there. loot to know that. He is, in fact, so, it. Nevertheless, I'm constantly accidentally clicking on companions, trying to, like, change my direction. All right, then we can go tell him about his unfortunate wife. Have you found my... Which we are not done yet, but... We'll loot some bodies real quick. Uh, we can go talk to him and find out about a dowry that we can then find. Just 
break this and we can get in there. Okay. What to do? Mostly we're just here to loot. You can find some depressing letters in here, which tell you all about how people were tired of this really quiet post and then you, know, you find a letter on their corpse. So I was like, all right, that's a bummer. Trash says, you mentioned that you were missing three achievements. What are the other two that I'm missing? Um, saving all the tieflings that is possible to save in a single playthrough, which I have a separate playthrough I'm doing for that because uh, I don't want to save scum my way through that one. I, I don't know if that one's going to wind up being tough or not. And then the third one is super easy. I'm just missing a, a romance achievement where you have to romance Carlac and take her on a date. Uh, which I assume they included as an achievement because that was part of their like final presentation for the game. That one's super easy. You just have to romance Carlac, basically. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Benjamin says, I think the Ifen era, Ifen, uh, Portrait is in the Blighted Village, possibly. You should have um, stayed. Wouldn't be surprised. If I just kept my mouth shut up. She said I'd so he'll tell us about again. a dowry. Please. And then finding it, and thus clearing the quest, comes down to passing a, I think it's a perception check over here. You can come back later and the fire will be gone, or you can use something like Ray of Frost to put it out for a little while. But this building, like the main building, stays kind of permanently on fire. But as you can see, it uh, creeps back pretty quickly. Which I hate because uh, your companions in their pathing do not like stepping over hazards which can be very annoying. Okay, so the dowry is in here. Hasn't gone up in flames yet. But you have to pass the you perception think some starving beast would have eaten this hay by now. Untouched stack of hay. Last chance. Must not be any there horses around. In the chest in the hay. And there is our dowry. Interesting. Which is a ring. <laughs> that we can then choose to give back to the guy. Ludwig says, I think inventory management is one of the game's weaker points. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. Um, they, they've they tried to fix it up here and there, even in DOS 2, but uh, I mean, inventory management is such a weak part of all of these games, honestly. All right, there we go. There's that little quest completed for a little bit of extra cash. Or uh, experience, rather. What? Cash. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to head back to the grove and sell some junk because we've been picking everything up. Let's see if they've got anything for us. Road to Baldur's Gate is a long one. Who knows how long it Drinking Bros is coming in to show some, some support. If I appreciate it. It's very kind of you. They're slow. Vulnerable. Half or more will die long before back to this game. We're going to come down here to the vendors, sell everything, see if we can pick anything up. This guy won't really have anything we need, but we will talk to the smith, who just might have a weapon or two for us. Need anything else? Of course. But please, remember. Alright, so you're all this junk. Which is never worth much, but you know. Bit of a klepto. When it comes to video games at least. Uh, that should 
should be everything for right now. And then we are going to, are they? I'm gonna grab one of these. Arrow of Roaring Thunder. It knocks things back when you hit it with it. Um, potentially anyway, provided they don't make their save. Go ahead and grab the heavy armor for Lazelle as well. And that'll be that. So eager for battle. Let's move. Yeah. Gotta turn her helmet off. Alright, now let's go see what the Smith has for us, if anything. No, never mind. Is the owl bear cub injured? No, no, he's fine. Um stupid are you? The owlbear cub, after the thing with the owlbear, gets picked up by the goblins. And if you save it from the goblin camp, it can show back up at your camp after that. <laughs> Ludwig says owlbear did nothing wrong. That's where you're wrong. It was an owlbear in a video game. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. Would I say you this is the best CRPG I've played? Eh, it depends on the metrics you're thinking about. Uh, production value-wise, sure. It's not even close. What was I doing before YouTube? Uh, I had a salaried sales job. I uh, managed a big operation. Okay, anything useful at all? Don't think so, to be honest. I'm curious if... Technically, that mace is a little more damage, but I'm kind of enjoying the blind on the failed save right now. So I'm not super concerned about literally one extra damage. The spear's a little more convincing, but even then, I think we'll wait to upgrade her. What is true says, how does one change from management to making videos? So I was making videos since like 2015, um, before I was even had that salary job. It was just something I always kind of did as a hobby. And, uh, and like, I've talked about this before, but in 2020, right before the pandemic uh, kicked off, my life also just kind of exploded. <laughs> um, my son had just been uh he had just turned one at the time he was born in 2019 um but his mom and i weren't getting along very well and then i was trying to find more time for him and because of the pandemic my channel was suddenly getting a bunch more views and i decided to just lean into it uh, i took a regular hourly job at a different company just doing something a lot more relaxed i was handling like inventory and stuff for contractors uh, which, which paid really well. I was, you know, I was, I was happy with that. Um, but because the pandemic and everything was going on, uh, I was also just making way more like views and stuff, which means the channel was doing better. And then when Wrath of the Righteous launched, I had leaned so hard into that. It finally kind of propelled the channel to a point where I could do it like legitimately. And I was I like, I'm never going to get a chance to do this again. So it's, it's now or never. If it fails, it fails. It would be too much to hope that's kind of the general gist, us, wouldn't it? I suggest we admire it from afar. Okay, so we're gonna do this encounter, and I think that's probably gonna be it for today. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Mark Gresham. Got more. That lot and this is the gift the Yankee bridge. that Lazelle wants to talk to, I'm running to into the flame fist. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. What? I go my own way. Nobody. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. What's the thing with the strange ox in the grove? Um, I would suggest getting in a potion of animal speaking and finding out Drop for your yourself. Weapon. It also shows up in Act uh, 2 if it survives. No. It has some interesting no, stuff. No, no, no. A red dragon. A okay. I'm gonna save before we do this, because sometimes I found this event behaves Here. very inconsistently. Speak.
Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Were I not... Your name, child. Let... I am... It is... You feel her mind. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Sometimes even if you pass this check, he still attacks. Which is very strange. You, the Kithrak, nods. Content. You serve your queen. I for current. Today not. But basically, they're looking for something, which is the artifact that Shadowheart has, the Githyanki thing. No. And they would like it found, which is why they got you to try to find it. Or they co-opted Lazel into trying to find it, I should say. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways that can turn into a fight. But uh, my last playthrough with my, my Dragonborn Cleric, um, I passed that check and they still attacked me. I don't know, I, I don't know what the determining factor there was. All right, and then for whatever reason, Blazel has to leave your party for that, so I gotta re-equip her with everything. Put all her stuff back where it was. And there's a cutscene as we go across this bridge. At least it should be. Yeah, there it is. Voices in your vision. Now, then there are three this is the voice of the absolute me. telling us to follow the you direction of the, the three main antagonists Muted of the game. This. And it's where you this find out that this wreck. relic is a Githyanki relic. Why does a I don't know. Not and exactly. it is what is protecting you from turning into a mind player. You worship Shah. Blimey. She and my beloved. Do you still do not know what it even is? But that would lead to uh, not technically Act 2, because the Mountain Pass is an Act 2, but we're not going there just yet. All right. And that, I think, is a fantastic place to end it for today. I think we'll give it a, a long rest just to catch up with everybody at camp, and then we'll wrap things up. But uh, a lot of great progress today. Made it pretty far. Um, Lazelle tries to kill you right here. This is a fun one. The world. She thinks you're turning into a mind player. I I your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. But if you figure out what's going disgust. on, she's just worried about turning into one herself. Oh no. I don't have any inspiration. It feel Close your eyes. Submit. Wisdom it is. Of course I nat 20 that one. A shiver runs across your mind. She's really going to tear our beard to shreds there, huh? <laughs> yeah, if you fail the checks, she, she can kill you. It's pretty pretty hard to do this. She will win. I cannot... I will wait. I will. And here's our guardian. Who should be giving us the okay to do... You are transforming. The powers, I think. I don't know if that's this one or the next one. Yes. And I'm here to save yeah. you again. <laughs> Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Yeah, so we there is I will keep it from the fight for the fate of fame. Yeah, she explains that she's like fighting some presence to keep you from turning into a mind flayer. I have to go. Awake now. Or at least is helping to protect you and as part of the uh, artifact or whatever. 
Have I noticed many interactions with your patron as a warlock? Uh, there's not. There's some unique dialogue and stuff in places for each individual patron, but there's not a ton of like actual interactions unless you're Will, which was a little disappointing, but not that big of a deal. All right, go talk to everybody. Make sure we're good. Hells. I know I haven't said. Our Will is actually no Duke Ravenguard's son. His, he could all so naturally to wants find. to make sure we go. I wanted you to know save the blame. Him. I'm all for it. Not to say I didn't develop. Like to think I did anyway. I'll have to let. Make sure nobody else has got anything to say. My apologies. Huh? It's not quite my. She told. An uncanny apparition. Only time. Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. I hope your confidence proves well-founded. God knows we could use all the... I don't remember. It might be the second dream. But one of them... This yeah, one here we go. You can absorb its potential. Now that we've had that dream, we can uh, do the uh, Illithid powers, which we're going to do at least a few of. For favorable beginnings and the guarantee to get once per long rest. I don't know that we'll take it any farther than that, but definitely need to augment this build somehow, given our ridiculous class situation. But see if Shadow's got Shadow Heart's got anything it to say. It was bad enough having just one of those. Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it, and I'll guard it with my life. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. That's not a luxury open to many people. Shah's secrets must be protected. All right. Okay. I believe that's pretty much it. And that is it for today. So I will probably be streaming tomorrow at some point. I don't know exactly when, but we'll probably pick up... Uh, part two of this tomorrow as we continue on our way. Uh, we'll probably start with trying to find Karlak and doing the stuff up here before heading down to the swamp. Uh, Padone says, what's my favorite uh, <laughs> waifu in this game? Um, personally, I like Lazelle. Her story's fantastic, but that is going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope it was fun to watch in some capacity at least, but Regardless, thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.